Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the 2023 Pokemon Let's Go Any Percent No Mount Skips Tournament. Uh, my name is Sajay. I am joined uh, by the wonderful duo of Sheep G and Crisis Saurus. Uh, we're here for the lower bracket semifinals. Uh, this is a race today between uh, Trevaria, Sandy Beach, and Iron. Um, all three of these runners pretty uh, pretty close in time. So, uh, you know, only about uh, a minute separating each player. So this is going to be a pretty close race today. Trevaria, uh, one of the runners who has been putting up really good times uh, as they have been, uh, you know, working their way through the winner's bracket, falling to the lower bracket um, just in the last round. And Sandy, of course, um, putting up some amazing times uh, in the last couple weeks, uh, getting a PB of a 306.45. And Iron uh, also uh, putting up some really good times recently. So, guys, uh, this is uh, a pretty anticipated race. Uh, you know, how do you guys feel um, about this one? Yeah, hello uh, there. I'm, I, I'm looking forward to it. These are three good runners. Sadly, they're all running Pikachu, but... Hey, yeah, we do have a triple do? feature of Pikachu today. Yes, and I also see a lot of uh, Fricks as their people's favorite Pokemon, as I also see. Well, a Frick and an evolved Frick. I, point, I wanted to point that out before we start yeah. the run. Will we see any? I do hope so. I hope Iron gets a Frick. I hope that if they do get a Frick, it behaves. I think that's the more important thing. But yeah, all our runners about to start. The beginning of the game, pretty simple. You just start, you mash text, you mash through a lot of text. Uh, you name yourself one character, and that's about it. And also mash as hard as you can, because uh, that is what we need. Because, you know, the faster you mash, the better. Yeah, and actually, like, um, m meshing has been... Uh the focus of some uh, recent uh, like how meshing works has actually been a bit more clearer after some research uh. all right so the first uh, important question uh, of the run will be answered here which character uh, will our players pick to play as all right what's our predictions uh, i'm expecting one boy one one girl one and one girl three Oh my god, I got it right! Let's go! Wow. Yeah. It's Sandy Boy 1, Triv Girl 1, and Iron Girl 3. Um, also, all of our uh, Pikachus are male. Yes, there's going to be, uh, I guess, the boys are in town. Everybody naming uh, their rival 1, nobody getting 11. Oh yeah, sorry, my bad. I, I actually have the script of the entire race. Oh, Open no, Sandy actually named the rival, uh, Doc. So. Yeah, I do actually have the script of the entire race, so I actually know exactly what's going to happen. And we also get to call people if they go off script. So, you know. Perfect. Yeah, and but 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 J and I don't have the script, so we can, like, keep things, like, uh, fresh, and, like, we can react to stuff where Crisis can then tell us why things will, are happening. Yes, uh, part of the script says that everyone does uh, this menu perfectly. Pretty much so. Yeah, but that, that, that's on script. Yeah, so do you know why they chose for this in the script? or? Uh, apparently, according to the script, it says it goes fast. Okay, okay. So... Hey, that's a good reason. So all our players heading down. Uh, we're gonna get a, little, get a little quick little cutscene here, uh, kind of showing off uh, the town of Pallet in Kanto. Uh, there are only two people who live in this town: uh, your family and your rival's family. That's more than two people, though, isn't it? Well, I guess two families. I mean, we don't even know if Professor. I think Professor Oak just sleeps in his lab somewhere. Yeah, so that's another one. And we know he has a grandson. No clue where he lives. Well, it's not in Pallet Town. What's his name again? 
Well, anyway, uh, as we try and contemplate and, uh, who lives on, where, uh, Pikachu. Depends on what country you play play this game in. It's either blue or green. Let's see what let's see what these uh, CPs for these Pikachus are. If it's twenty seven, I believe it's neutral. If it's twenty six, yes. it's not. Twenty six. And I did not see any of the numbers. I saw Triv was twenty six. I didn't see what. Andy was before. also twenty six. And Iron was twenty seven. So Iron, uh, with a neutral nature, Triv and Sandy have something. Have an actual nature. Uh, we're not sure which one, though. Do you think any of these runners will check? If they're neutral, they if they know they're neutral, they will not yeah, of check. Yeah. But but Triv and Sandy. Um, Pika if has I have a lot to have more a prediction. runnable natures than Eevee does, so I don't think uh, they will check. I don't think Sandy will. I don't think Sandy will. I th I think Triv might. But again, I again, that's actually not written in the script. Uh, do note, uh, I put the script in JetGPT and it came out today and that did not write that in the script. The JetGPT was a lie. I just wrote the script this morning. But yeah, the one thing we don't want to see uh, is any minus uh, attacks or special attacks. That minus attack is a pain is really much of a pain. Minus special is less of a pain, but still a pain regardless. And um, minus anything else is fine. So hopefully we see uh, if we do see minus minus speed. Oh, they both oh, do check, checking. except but not iron. So mild and relaxed. Mild, mild and did not see Sandy's relaxed. I also did not relaxed. see. Oh, that's right. minus relaxed. speed. That's that's fine. For Pikachu, they, these are uh, both fine. And then mild is plus special attack minus defense, so that's really yeah. good. And that's actually good for Tri yeah. That's actually a really good uh, nature for Triv. Uh, plus special is going to be helpful a lot for the um, especially like the mid to late game where you preferably use your special attack. Even actually in the early game a little bit where you do use thunder shock, you might actually see a. Maybe if, uh, depending on the ranges go, Triv actually get the three shot on Eevee and not the two shot. But not the four shot, I mean. But yeah, we're now going to make ourselves through Roots, which is as a Scar and Violet. No, I don't know what a Root is, but, you know, let's just continue on. And hopefully we encounter absolutely nothing. Because uh, encounters are slow. No matter, we're gonna encounter Pokemon later, but just not right a, now. Bit of a busy route, one couple things. Um, and Iron does not get Pikachu trapped below the ledge. Uh, um, only Trip Sandy gets almost. Pikachu. Sandy does. So yeah, that'll uh, that'll pay off later for an RNG minip that we need to do later. Yeah, depends on your step counts, but looks to be still viable. But it is subframe uh, specific. Uh, yep. So, definitely not free. And this fight in Pikachu, it can be a bit of a. Tr in Eevee, it can be a bit of a troll, but Pikachu, it is as simple as just bam, Thundershock, and uh, win. You don't have to think. It's not really much of a complicated fight. You just uh, Thundershock. And then you Thundershock again, and again, and, and quite again. possibly again. Yeah, three, three tends to be, four tends to be the standard, but three tends to be, hap can happen if you have plus special attack. And saving a turn is always good. Yeah, I mean, look at how close these runners are now. Yeah. Saving one turn could mean Triff is back in the lead after having to check stats. Yeah, but we have an entire game to go through before we Ooh, actually figure out who's in the lead. Yeah, that will be a... Uh, it is actually crit. faster to lose this fight. Yeah, if you lose this fight, you actually get to skip the uh, little cutscene that's afterwards, but... But I guess you won't be... I guess if you're doing, like, a PB attempts, you won't actually know what your nature is until then you teach double kick, so... You'll have slower resets if you do, uh... Die. I've learned to, uh, just check it. Uh, I've learned to just check out uh, Caterpie. You can also check your nature uh, here uh, during this first fight. Pikachu actually is going to level up 
on the first fight of the game, or the second fight of the game, uh, rivals the first fight, but uh, because uh, Pikachu gains one more experience than Eevee does. What was Iron doing there? He walked around the uh, rival sister. I guess he Talked may have forgotten. Him. Oh well, doesn't matter. It's minor, minor time loss, it's fine. Yeah. Here's the to dodge a uh, rat. Now the second fight of the game, Runny. Yeah, hopefully we don't see like too many like paralysis lag because really you just don't want to see that. It's a 10% chance. And every time you use Thundershock, it, it can lose a little bit of time, but it's not like too much in the end of the world. Not like Scarlet and Violet where if you get, if you get a burn, you lose 10 seconds. Yeah, for the people who don't know about it, um, in this game, if you if Pokemon has a status condition in the fight, uh, there is a chance for the fight to s a turn to randomly take longer. It's not like very consistent. Um, it's worse in double battles. Uh, so that's what uh, what we're talking about, like getting the status lag from paralysis on Thundershock. So it's a ten percent chance to get paralyzed, and then another. I don't know exactly what the chance is to actually get status lag, but it's a chance, and it's just and it's just uh, bad. I guess it's probably more like cycle based. Uh, Triv opting not to catch anything outside the route. You only really want to catch a bug outside because of the slightly better catch rate. But there's no bug spawn for any of our speedrunners. We're just going to continue on and move on to the uh, other trainers being this bug. Base bug trainer, where we just you know, simple thunder shock twice Rick. and uh, we're good. I haven't seen like any encounters that are, like special quite yet, so we're gonna see. Um, we're gonna see. We're gonna, we'll, we'll see. We'll see anything. We haven't seen uh any fricks yet. At least not yet. No Pikachus. No Pikachus. <laughs> yeah, no Pikachus, but uh, we don't really don't want to see a Pikachu. Pikachu's kind of redundant in Let's Go Pikachu because you already have a Pikachu. In yeah, so the Eevee version, you want to see Pikachu uh, in the forest every time you do it. Uh, in Pikachu version, you never want that thing to spawn. Yeah, Sa Sandy, unfortunately, does get an early cat. He does choose to catch it, which kind of makes sense. It's like, I ran into this, I may as well just catch it. Moment. And it's yeah, level, it's, it's uh, level, level six. six as well, so that is actually the highest level something can spawn in the forest. So uh, it's only about a two second time loss to catch this and evolve it. Yeah, so ideally, coming out up, we're going to get ourselves a lore. A lore is an item that not only increases the spawn rates of just Pokemon in general, but also spawns all the Pokemon at the highest level plus one, which makes evolving things a little, a little easier. And later on, is the higher level is actually going to be a requirement for some Pokemon we catch so that it only levels up in one or learns specific moves at a specific level. Yeah, and so, also Allure will also like spawn one extra thing that normally can spawn in the I didn't know that. So here Trev is looking for a Caterpie. Actually, all of these peep runners are looking for a Caterpie. They are looking for a Weedle and they are looking for an Oddish. They can catch all these outside, however, only the Oddish is really um, um, considered uh, worthy going outside. Everything else is still worthy to go back inside. Inside the I, forest, I mean. Yeah, I see uh, Iron is uh, catching a glowing Caterpie and also had a glowing Weedle spawn. What is a glowing? Uh, what does that mean, uh, Psyche? Uh, so glowing uh, just means the Pokemon is bigger or larger um, than normal size. Um, gives extra experience. Uh, so we do want to catch glowing Pokemon when we... Oh, there's a Frick! There is one Frick for Triv. A glowing one, too. So this is a large uh, Bulbasaur. All right, so let's see how it, how the Frick treats uh, Triv here. Hopefully... Oh, that might be in a bag of bad attack cycle. Oh, it gets an excellent. Let's see if it stays in. It has, an, I believe it has a nickname Frick because it has like a really annoying time catching, but thankfully it is not happening today. 
And we don't actually know why it's called Frick. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just guessing. Uh, Triff still does need a Weedle before she leaves, so it would have been ideal to get a Weedle before Frick, but yeah. Right, Triff learning double kick here. The best fighting move in the entire game. And I wish I was joking. Uh, Iron about to start the bug catcher fight here. Bug another catcher. Frick for Sandy. Oh, another Frick. That's two Fricks. I'll get all I only need. need for the Bulbasaur as well. Yep. Now we just need Iron. It is an extra, it is an extra, it is an extra encounter and having like an encounter is ideal. Yeah, come on, Iron. Get on their level. Uh, I am. Grab one. Uh, there's one little patch of grass here left. No, that's a canopy. I was like, I saw something green. I was like, nah. So I am not gonna be the one who's not gonna get the freak. I also don't think I am. I am does not have an oddish yet, so he is gonna do something known as the root two roulette, which is, which is essentially you go into this root, see if you find the Pokemon you want. You do, and uh, you go and hand catch it. And actually, I am finds both an oddish and a glowing Pidgey. So, be interesting to see if Iron goes for the glowing Pidgey. Uh, I think you do because you'd rather have your Oddish be level 10 than level 9 for Brock. Because by having it level 10, um, by having it level 10, you guarantee Onyx. Whereas if you're level 9, you have to you have to have good special attack, and uh, you won't know your special attack until it levels up. So, that's going to be a huge chunk of levels on, but on on everything. And uh, actually, if he catches the Pidgey and gets like an excellent, he might actually be getting both bugs evolved before Brock. So that might actually be another good reason to evolve to get the Pidgey. But again, we'll see what he chooses to do. Yeah, and so why are we catching all these Pokemon? Uh, so we don't get kicked by Koga. Well, that's and uh, uh, fighting in, in battles. Uh, you hardly get any EXP, unlike in other games, other Pokemon games. Uh, you basically only get your EXP from catches, or most of your EXP. So you you really yeah, this need. Game to... You get uh, quite a lot of experience from catching Pokemon, uh, whereas in other Pokemon games you get a lot from uh, doing battles. Um, this game battles are uh, you don't really get a lot of experience from doing them. Alright, so uh, Triv, I also believe going for it actually gets a bug. Actually gets the Weedle outside. So it actually, yes, yeah, I, I actually don't have the uh, trackers open because I'm because I'm I guess I'm definitely well very, very well prepared. I'm not just panicking and packing everything. Everything I need to go for Sweden tomorrow. Yeah, I'm so the, the catching the bugs outside um, does waste a little bit of time because you do need to get them to level eleven instead of level ten. Um, so it is a two-second time loss to get them there, because they gain an extra level. Uh, Iron is going to go for the Glowing Pidgey. Yeah, Pidgey can have a little bit of a douchebag. Only gets a great... Actually, that might be a bit calculated, because you might not want to get too much experience on the bugs, so that they don't over-level like crazy. Or maybe it's just that it's mistimed, I don't know. Like, it could be a small strategy. And... Um, yeah, it does get one of the bugs evolved. The other one is most certainly going to get evolved, even after Brock, so, yeah. That's the first big difference between uh, Pikachu and Eevee version here, uh, other than the starter. Uh, all of our runners are going to be switching Oddish to the front of their party, and are going to uh, kind of solo the fight with Oddish. Uh, imagine having a special attack, a special attack and grass move. Unfortunately, uh, Eevee version, we get Bellsprout, who uh, kind of sucks, so... So yeah, I mean... all of our runners now going into Brock, essentially. Uh, I am just waiting for an evolution, Triv is already there, and Sandy just talking to Rival. As for the catches going into Brock, Triv has the least amount of catches, with only six, but Duno does have uh, Frick involved, so... That, that's completely fine. Uh, Sandy going in with the, just the middle with only seven, also with a Frick. And uh, I am the only one who doesn't have a Frick, but actually has the most amount of Pokemon going into going into Brock with eight. 
yeah, those evolved ducks uh, making the difference. And the Pidgey. Uh, yeah. But we, we, there's still plenty of chances to catch a Pidgey later on and actually be better for getting to your catches. Even then, Pidgey... Grab Pidgeotto later. Uh, yeah, Pidgeotto Pidgey now survive. is not that bad because Pidgey, yeah, because of Pidgeotto, that's still access to Pidgeotto and Pidgeot, so it's not the end of the world. Whereas, uh, I believe Triv's uh, Oddish is actually going to be a range. Oh, actually, never mind. I just kill. It just kill. I think actually never mind. I wasn't paying attention on Triv's screen, but yeah, that was an Oddish kill. That was a. I, ugh, I can't speak today. That was an Onyx kill. You essentially want your Oddish to be level 10. Actually, this Oddish is level 7 on Sandy's uh, screen, so... Yeah, Sandy went for growth on turn 1. But even with growth plus 1, this is still a range to kill, I believe. And also headbutt. Oh, no! Oh, we got the flinch. Uh, that's one flinch. There you go. Oh, okay, so good. Right, go. I believe it's still a range of plus 1, even at 7. But get the range. And now you're going to get 2 levels up after this, but... Yeah, they all now have beaten Brock pretty, pretty easily, actually. I think Brock's like the easiest gym leader. I, that's a line. That's Surge. Brock's like the second easiest gym leader in, in the... No, wait, that's Erica. Bro Brock is the third. Brock is an easy gym leader. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, for Pikachu version, if you catch a artist outside it, it is the easiest gym leader. It only takes two turns. I guess that's true. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. Um, actually, no, you can still get trolled by Onyx, whereas every other gym leader, you, whereas the other, whereas Surge and uh, Erica, you can never get trolled. Anyway, it's time for shopping. It's it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of shops they choose to go for, because there is the X attack shop, which I don't think anyone's going for, but there's also the difference between safety shop and risky shop. I think Triv is actually going for the safety shop, which does buy themselves a burn heal just in case. Yes. It is a slight adaptation where normally you would buy the X defend here, but instead you're buying a burn heal just to make sure that if you does something do unfortunate does happen at Misty, you don't you can still heal the burn if you do survive. Um see sandy also seeing what kind of shop he does also does the safe shop as well which does buy themselves a burn heal yeah we we only have uh basically three shops in the game three moments where we're shopping so um and for the first two money can be somewhat tight so they're very like well you know how much money you have or you should have so they're planned out uh, as actually Iron does go for the risky shop and does not buy the burn heal, does not buy a burn no, heal. So. No bonus catches for Triv just yet. Yeah. So, uh, Pikachu actually gets uh, two bonus Pokemon here, as Eevee only gets one. Yeah, and uh, Sandy does there get is a one. Sandshrew there. Let's get the Sandshrew. Sandy. There is still an opportunity for the bonus catches after Mount Moon, but I think it's much better to get them before Mount Moon if you can. Of course, they are bonus catches, so uh, you don't have any control whatsoever. Doesn't wait for the circle there. Just throw yeah, well, if you have, if you use Great Ball at two eight, you're fine. You don't have to wait at all. You can, I believe, most of the time just two P with uh, just Pokeball and be fine. Also interesting to see who chooses to keep their Bulbasaur for the entirety and who chooses to deposit the Bulbasaur early. Because unlike an Eevee where you can choose to keep Bellsprout versus ditch Bellsprout if you have a, a Bulba, in this game you do have to keep Oddish until the entirety because Oddish is actually really useful for a lot of fights. And... That, that was a very oh. impressive, excellent throw by Aaron. Yeah. The Mankey was jumping, he threw and he still got excellent, so... Uh, Sandy got hit luck. by a Sandshrew that was just hiding in the bush there. Yeah, and they're all gonna, and all of our runners, you're gonna see where Sandy getting theirs right now, are gonna buy a magic cup because uh, catching one's a pain, and uh, it's the it's the easiest catch in the, it's the easiest catch in the game, tied by Lapras and Porygon. And I think this one is quicker 
by time it takes to obtain. Oh yeah, it's much, much faster. As we head into Mount Moon, we are going to fight the first two train the first two trainers in this place, and then they're going to activate a law. And they are going to look for three things, as I said before. In a different race, it is a rock, a mushroom, and a pink thing. Now, if you define what a pink thing is, uh, some people will give you different answers, but ideally, the pink thing is small in size and not large in size. Well, there, there are two options for a large pink thing. Yes, and I don't... I don't think any of our runners are going to go for either of them. It depends on, like, their EXP and, like, their situation. But who knows? You might see uh, our runners go for large pink things instead of small pink things. Uh, Triv, I was going to say, where's your lore? But I guess you're going to activate it just before you enter the room, which, you know, that's fair. Gonna deposit the magic card because you don't want the magic card to get any more experience. Does choose to keep the Bulba in the party, so probably just getting it to level 16 as an extra catch is still very good. Uh, we are going to be learning Headbutt. It is just a pretty decent normal move that also has a chance to flinch sometimes, which can be helpful. And uh, yeah, it's not as Headbutt's not as busted as an Eevee version where it gets stabbed, but yes, as we see Triv getting double Clefairy already. One of them glowing, and a glowing Paris just spawns. So this is a very good spawn spawns for Triv so far. Yeah, this is the small pink thing. Yes, this is the Ooh, small pink thing I was referring to, by the way. Wait to attack, wait for Clefairy to attack, and then just get it. And I'm pretty sure that's guaranteed. I actually have no idea about catch rate, so if someone knows about catch rates, they can say. But I'm pretty sure that's like very likely to catch. Yeah, it's it's pretty likely it gets in. Do you have Good to be a little careful with the trip. Weedle? Because you don't want it to get to 13 because it learns a move. It's not as bad as Caterpie. Caterpie yeah, tries to learn a lot of three. Tries to learn like, three. I think at least 11 moves at level 13. It is actually only three, but it does feel like 11. So yeah, we're going to see. Ooh, an interesting choice for Sandy if he wants to. There is a Glowing Paris just before the ladder. It's not going to be its highest level, but it still might be good for EX EXP if he wants to go If he wants to go for it. He might opt not to. Yeah. It's be interesting to see if they go for it. It's not going to be high level, but it is going to be still glowing Paris. It's still a very good thing to see, regardless. Let's see if he chooses to go for it. He chooses not to. Saying that he might get a better, a better Paris later. There's a so, big oh, pink thing. Oh boy! Oh, Triv, what a chancy! Born so, we are interesting to see. I don't think she's gonna go for it. But yes, bonjour, bonjour. There is a ooh. Triv going for the Zubat. Interesting, interesting choice. Uh, Iron with an Onyx on the screen. Uh, is he actually going? He is also going for the Onyx, so everyone doing interesting catch choices. A Moon Onyx today. isn't bad. Uh... Uh, he's going for Double Great Ball because you definitely want like the highest chance because it's very unlikely you do get an excellent on this Onyx because of how high it is. Yeah. As he, as he doesn't do that. Let's see. I think if Triv does go for Chansey, I think the best play to do is catch everything deposit then go for chancy mm -hmm. but i think that's like the best play so we won't see for a while and to see if Tri if trip does go for this chancy but yes there is a big pink thing on screen it'll be interesting to see as iron goes and gets himself an onyx so probably didn't have great spawns in there but does have now have an onyx in, in his in his body you're getting a yeah a lot of rocks does get a mushroom, does get a Paris. Which is nice. Still looking for his uh Clefairy. Ideally. I think that's why he probably went for the for the uh, Onyx, so that just in case the Clefairy doesn't spawn. That might be a reason. Yeah, good good EXP. So 
So the bugs finally evolved for both Triv and Sandy. Which actually is still a good thing to do the catches first. I think you're gonna get yeah, you're gonna go for Geodude. Doesn't get the double moonstone, so they, all of our speedrunners actually set our set a timer specifically. And to run into midnight here for a 50% chance to get double moonstone, Triv does not get a second moonstone, so Triv unfortunately, yeah. uh, and iron too with the bad Geodude cycle. Um, so normally, uh, the good Geodude cycle, it'll just kind of attack almost immediately, and you can just throw the ball uh, right at the very end of its attack animation, and it will get uh, an excellent throw, but uh, if you get the bad cycle, it uh, does not do that. Bilbasar wants to learn some moves. Yep. All three of our runners getting the bad Geodude cycle. Yeah, and, uh, ooh, Sandy doesn't get any good bonus. If it does catch, it's not going to give nearly as much experience, which experience is very important because... I think uh, their experience is fine where they're at. Uh, they have a lot of catches, and uh, um, Triv is going to go ahead and deposit their party. We may be seeing a chancy catch here. No, nah, she insummoned the second controller. Ah, oh, yeah, she didn't. Uh, she was just no, no chancy so. for Triv. No chance for Triv. Zubat does decide to say hi. You shouldn't wait for the you should wait for Chansey. Just saying, and uh, yeah, it goes ahead. And as uh, Iron also does his party management as well. Doesn't get a Moonstone. Do is I believe that's Sandy's uh, Clefairy. Yeah, that's getting good. the Clefairy so, now. So only Iron without the Clefairy so far. Just assuming I'm reading the catch chart. Yeah, only Iron without the Clefairy so, as of right now. And I don't think any of our runners got double moon. And they so. get the excellent right after the attack animation. Yeah, none of our runners got double moonstone, so it's just um, all go all going from here. So all of our runners are going to have one moonstone. They all should be using the moonstone on a Nidoran male if they get one, if not a Nidoran female later, because uh, unlike Eevee, where Eevee can just do everything by itself, Pikachu needs a lot of friends along the way. Yeah, Sandy also done with his catches. I would honestly just take any Clefairy that spawns. But looking at these levels, Peak Triv's already 15, Iron's already 15. I don't know if Sandy's already 15, but... Uh, Sandy is 15. All right, so they all are level 15. And the reason why 15 is important isn't because of some, um, like, level threshold. It's because the Misty will literally not let you in if you don't have 15. Man, these Clefairies are been spawning on everyone else's. I would really love one. There's one. Oh, speaking of what? Speaking of which? As uh, Sandy gets uh, blocked get by everything. I like... how to get around this. Oh. It does eventually get around with the best the very bottom of the ramp. Yeah, doesn't... It's also a little bit fast. Also, you'll see all of our runners are talking to trainers instead of running in front of them. That is because it is slightly fast. It is faster to talk to a trainer to initiate a battle than it is to actually uh, run in front of their vision. Now, well, now that Triv is now heading into the. Uh, the nerd is it the nerd is it the train class is nerd right yes yeah so it, oh is it super nerd i believe i actually yeah it's a it's su su super nerd miguel super nerd and after we fight this trainer we are going to get ourselves a fo a fossil now it'll be interesting to see if these runners choose to sell the fossil later or actually use it to restore it restore it uh, choosing to sell is faster because if you don't choose to sell it, you're going to have to pick up a different item, which does give you more money, but it is a little bit further away to pick up. So it'll be interesting to see who picks up the PP up later and who doesn't pick up the PP up because uh, it is faster, but it is a whole lot riskier. Hey, Trib starting the first double battle of the game. This is the first Jesse and James fight. I say first true double battle, because we can't force two on ones technically. Uh, 
Okay, Teapot. Anyway, uh, they're going, uh, Triv is going to go into Jesse and James 1. Uh, this is actually the advantage of actually having plus special attack, and it's actually the fact that you can one-shot the coughing in one go with just, uh, with just, uh, Yeah, we can one-shot the coughing with just, just Thundershot with one X special, whereas if you normally do this fight, you actually would target the Ekans first, and then... and then target the coughing, because coughing is slightly bulkier. Sandy getting through Super Nerd Miguel. I am just starting the Jesse and James fight. Riv just finishing it. Yep, uh, Triv does still have the two bonuses, so here you can see both Sandshrew and uh, Mankey spawn. Uh, having either of those spawn right here, right now, is actually... it's a, it, You prefer to spawn before, but spawning afterwards is also A-OK. -okay. You just have to do an extra... Uh, Triv grabbing the PP up uh, for some extra money. So Triv might be keeping the fossil. Yeah, I'll Triv is definitely keeping the backup, uh, just in case your catch route goes kind of downhill. Later in the run, you can always revive the fossil for an extra two. And also chooses oh. to pick up the uh, backup grape, uh, the three great balls. It's a bit out of the way, a bit slow because you actually have to see an animation when you pick up an item. But uh, yeah, uh, Triv entering into uh, Misty with 14 Pokemon. I believe Triv uh, actually missed a catch on the Paris, so uh, great ball count might be a little low for Triv, so maybe picking up the backup great balls to up those numbers and uh iron grabbing the backups as well did you see iron pick up the pp up i nope. don't think iron picked up the pp up okay uh, so here he... uh, on triv screen uh triv learning zippy zap so uh these starters um are not like a regular pikachu or an eevee version a regular eevee um they cannot evolve so we get some pretty broken moves that uh we are uh gonna be using throughout the run uh, Zippy Zap in particular is plus two priority, so it always goes first, um, and it will always critical hit as well. It does have a low base power to make up for the always critical hitting, but uh, yeah, it is pretty much our main move and the move that we're going to be using and the only move that we're going to be teaching. Pikachu does, does can get access to two other moves, but... Uh, we're not going to be using... We're not going to be using them. One is... Uh, uh, they're both just mediocre. One is just electric version of fly, and the other does something. Yeah, I actually don't know. The surf one paralyzes. Yay, because it, that's exactly what we need to do. But, uh, yeah. All I mean, actually, what's at interesting... This point, at this point, a water move would, would be pretty good, and a flying move. Pikachu would take that. Uh, I don't, no, I don't think they're water. I, I actually, are they? Is that a water move? Actually, it is a water move. Yeah, actually, no. Pikachu would actually appreciate a water move. All those centrus. Sadly, it uh, even just Rhyhorn, but sadly, uh, doesn't get it. Uh, yeah. So Misty can be a bit dangerous. Uh, the entire fight is you X attack and then you press Zippy Zap twice, depending on your attack. The Stami can be a range, and uh, it can, and if it is a range, you can get scolded, and for the most part, you might just straight up uh, get KO'd, but at best, uh, you might only just get burned. If you do get KO'd, then you do have to take the center to heal because you don't actually have any revives yet. Uh, Triv does get a range if it was a range. Uh, I actually don't know the ranges off the top of my head. I just know that level 17 is just guaranteed anyway, so... You're fine. Except if it's like minus attack, but none of us have minus attack, so we don't have to worry about that. Triv finishing up the Misty fight. So Triv uh, about to make their way down to the second rival fight of the game. Yeah, getting on to the beginning of Nugget Bridge. There are a few fights we have to do in a row. Um, and for Pikachu version, we are going to see... Uh, well, it, it doesn't have that easy a time as Eevee has on these fights. Yeah, because imagine being able to one-shot a Pidgey. Could not be me. But 
But uh, yeah, this fight's gonna be pretty pretty simple. Uh, even just the Nugget Bridge fights coming up in front. Uh, for Pikachu, it's actually with the exception of one, it's actually very simple for Pikachu. You just click Zippy Zap, you win the game. You don't actually have to think too hard or too much about it. But as we go through, uh, essentially, uh, Nugget, uh, Nugget Bridge, uh, I did say that everyone is actually at 14, I'd actually get wrong. Iron is actually at 15, so even though, uh, Triv and Iron are actually, like, very close to each other, Iron does have the Pokemon catch advantage. So, it te- it can't- and before- and chat, don't- you don't you dare type it, but it's roughly a 30 second difference between, uh, both- Tr before, have, depending on how many Pokemon you've caught. And so while it may look like that Iron is slightly behind uh, Triv, uh, the catch actually makes it the those two more closer than it actually seems. Yeah. Yeah, and as someone who like came up with a 30 seconds, uh, just easy to calculate. Not an exact science, but it's easy for people watching to Oh, just add 30 seconds. Oh, you're two catches ahead. Oh, that means you are like a minute. Just way easier for calculations than... Yeah, Chad has no, one... Actually, technically, it's 37 seconds. Chill up. Chad has one joke, and I'm waiting to see if, they, if someone actually types it. I mean, I don't think they'll type it. They just copy... Sorry, they'll copy and paste instead. Never mind. Uh, there is actually uh, one fight in Nugget Bridge that it will be interesting to see which variation players choose to do. Uh, after this last, there is a youngster who has a Sandshrew, which is essentially uh, everyone's uh, nemesis in this game. And um, it will be interesting yep. to see how they choose to tackle it. They're, Triv is doing the safe version, mainly because if you if your Pikachu does have damage, it is better to use this time to heal the Pikachu and then use the Oddish to take down the Sandshrew. As we see here. I think most people will go for the safe version, but it'll be interesting to see. Iron also chooses to go for the uh, safe strat for um, the youngster. Then he still has one more uh, fight fight to do before we get to see uh, the decision. I guess that everyone is going for this because Sandshrew can be a pain. Uh, it has everyone's favorite move, Sand Attack. And that's all I need to say. So, there we see Sandy uh, having uh, Iron's favorite Pokemon, Ivysaur. Sandy getting the extra catch there for the Ivysaur. Uh, Triv, I believe, will also be getting uh, the Ivysaur as well if. Uh, but it just hasn't uh, evolved yet. If I'm correct. Yeah. So we're just waiting. Yeah, so it just needs a little bit more EXP before it get before it finally gets to the the Ivy Store stage. And both of these runners will have an extra catch that Iron does not will not have. But if you're on Iron screen, there's going to be a pupper that we're going to uh definitely need later on. Is Andy going for the one controller sand true fight? I guess, and it goes fine. Yeah, oh, yeah, a bit a little... risky. You might get poisoned. Oh yeah, there's also a poison thing. I forgot about that part. Uh, Triv going for the uh, safe fight on coughing, which is just a uh, double headbutt, hope or flinch. Uh, didn't get the flinch, but did get a tackle, so no poison there, which is really nice. Uh, Iron also going for the thing. I believe Iron is actually better experience-wise, so... Could probably zippy zap. Yeah, it's level 18, so could probably zippy zap. There is a Venonat. There's actually a Venonat really close by, 
And Triv does actually choose to go for the Venonat. Yeah, we probably won't see this one go to Venomoth. But... No, I don't think we'll see Venomoth. Doesn't actually get any great or excellence, which is uh, not ideal, but... As long as it's caught at this point, that's, uh, yeah. that's what you want. If it's caught, that's all that matters. Uh, EXP does help for Pikachu, but it's not really important. Then you get to level 18 anyway, so you're fine. Yeah, and and also, we'll see... Especially okay. with endured stuff, you don't really care that much, like, here, about excellent catches to getting more EXP. Because the like every they're like a few catch bonuses and they're all multipliers. Yeah. So with that, Iron technically takes the lead in terms of story progression, but Triv now takes the lead in terms of number of pokes caught. As afterwards, is Triv gonna go for no not going for knock skip, which makes sense. Uh, it is a very difficult skip to actually go for. And also, one thing to note, similar to how in most video games, Walls is a figment of imagination, uh, in this game, Trainer Vision, for the most part, is a figment of your imagination. It doesn't exist, sometimes. Yeah, Trainers have like a, a small, uh, like an area of like 25 pixels wide. Uh, that's their Trainer Vision, um, which isn't a lot. Uh, so yeah, it, 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 they're not like the entire tile, which you might think, and which like in like especially tile based games there are. Here it's a lot uh, smaller, so you can uh, just uh, hop in between uh, two trainers, like we'll soon see on Sandy's side. And this one is even like there there are a few more that are crazier than than this one. Shame that uh no squirtles spawn. Uh is gonna like quickly mention no squad or spawn at least be able to be caught but no but they still could be like the what we call the unfortunate squad where a squad can spawn on the way back and we there's no way to catch there's no way to catch this um everyone is now going to be making themselves their way to bill they're going to try and sit we're going to save bill from his uh, cross fusion project that apparently gone wrong they transformed himself into a new reno you know not great Hopefully no one's actually going to ditch Bill. That is a category, but that is not today's category. What if you use a Moonstone on Bill? Uh, I mean, you could probably get him to be a Nido King, but I don't think that's actually helpful because you actually want the Nido King. And then if he evil, it turns back. Is he like Bill Plus? Is he evolved Bill? Becomes jacked. It, yeah, becomes a jacked Bill. Bill Altman, let's go. So can he then like well, go through balls, right? Uh, he might be able to push boulders with his just his raw strength, but I don't know. Now in, uh, in, in Gen 1, there's a glitched item called Jack. And with it, you can go through walls. I'm just going to have to take your word for it because I don't know enough about Gen 1. Gen 1 speed running, everyone. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 sp the speed run doesn't really use it, not even like any percent or I guess um, the 151 category does use it. It's not called Jack at that moment, but. You can definitely tell that we're just trying to stall time because we're just walking up and down from one route to another with no with no catches or no encounters whatsoever. Uh, Triv's starting the Detective Pikachu cutscene. Uh, Iron just finished it, so Pikachu's yeah. going to investigate. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so Route 6. Definitely one of the most important routes, especially if you're Pika, because we're going to need to catch some stuff. Specifically, there's one fire boy we're going to need to get. Or go. Can be either or. And it is actually very important that we catch this thing, Lord. The reason is that when it's level 17, this little pupper carries a flamethrower. Just on its personal, on their personal uh, belongings, which uh, might, I mean, might cause like other, other, might cause some problems to the to the natural wildlife. But apparently, this pup is responsible in using a flamethrower. So, yeah, who who would say? 
But the reason why it's important is because Flamethrower is just a very strong move, but also we don't really have that way many many ways to hit physically defensive ground types, specifically Sandshrew, so we're going to need like a better way, and unfortunately Oddish's uh, Absorb is not going to quite cut it. Yeah, but uh, you do have to watch out, as we saw yesterday in a race. Um, for that Sandshrew specifically, Growlit can have like minus speed nature and low speed IVs and be outsped and then dig kills. So, so yeah, it is. Oh. So it is a uh, ideal on. It is ideal to actually catch Growlithe first, and then try and catch like other Pokemon to be as bonus experience, so you can get it to eighteen. So the yeah. issue, so that issue will at least happen not quite yet. Well, not as often, but again, you're gonna have to get lucky with spawns. Kadabra can oh, Abra can also spawn, and as long as you evolve it before you get to rival, it can be used as a replacement for. Uh, Abra for Growlithe. So as we see an iron screen, just a bunch of birds does choose to get one. Not seeing a good a good friend. As uh, Triv is about to enter this, there's also a rare candy. So if a Growl so if a Growlithe doesn't spawn immediately, you do can wait a little bit of time and grab this rare candy. There is a couple of rare candies that we do need to give. We're not going to give any of them to Pika, but we are going to give them to a different main that we're going to be using later on. Who's that main? Who knows? Foreshadowing. If you have not seen this tournament for some reason, so we see two Psyducks. We do see a Puff for both Iron and Triv, but no. Poppers yet. Which is gonna be uh interesting. So yeah, are, they get, are they getting nervous yet, you think? I think they might be getting a little bit nervous because uh they've already caught like Iron has I mean Iron can also catch a rat, but he's already caught everything in the root in the root, and you kinda wanna see Pop a pop a first just to see like it doesn't matter what everyone else but like this is a kind of like a mandatory spawn and yeah Iron is not getting anything. Abra for Iron. Oh, okay, it does get an Abra. Abra. Does get the experience to evolve. You can do the Pika fight with without technically oh. a second mon. Oh, oh does get. Getting, oh, uh, oh, oh, gets, oh, oh, this is really good. Let's get Abra and a Growlithe. You you do want to get the Abra one level of experience, but um, yeah, for Iron, you, there is an argument you could rare candy the Abra into a into a Kadabra. But I think if I was in Iron's case, because he hasn't caught a rat yet, you could catch a rat and maybe even a Psyduck for experience. Sandy going through the Vermilion skip. So those two trainers, uh, their vision ends uh, right in front of each other. So you can kind of sneak through the middle of their vision. Yeah, but Sandy is, didn't see anything, right? Didn't get their club partner. Oh, oh no. Ab just... No Abra. No, no Growlithe. Uh, did get Jigglypuff. Uh, no Abra either. Um, opted not to go for Pidgey as well. Um, Sandy does have Pidgeot checked, so... Ooh, Iron running all the way up. Yeah, I'm getting Pidgeot later. Oh, get, get, does get a Growlithe, so... Yeah, do, do, does choose to go all the way back up there to get himself a Growlithe. Does have this... Because it's tiny, it does will give it a good amount of experience for the Abra. If it doesn't... If it's not enough, there is an argument for Iron to go for either the Psyduck or the Rat. As Triv also goes for this Pidgey. Catching a Pidgey here is actually very good because it does evolve into Pidgeotto afterwards. Uh, like, in just one level. But if it is technically optimal to wait on the Pidgey catch for another... So that if you route... So that if you catch a Pidgey later, it can evolve twice in one... It can evolve twice to get... Um... Ugh, I can't see it. Pidgeotto and Pidgeotto. Yeah, Pidgeotto and Pidgeotto. Yeah, so, Iron does get the Ceru uh, Vermilion Skip. I was going to say Cerulean Skip, but it's actually Vermilion. 
And yeah, uh, but, but I, I I think Triff went for the Pidgey here to evolve Abra. Oh yeah, that is true. So I that's that. probably that. that's oh. probably worth it. Yeah, no, that's one hundred percent worth doing. You do lose a catch later, but you get Abra, you get Kadabra, so that makes up. That definitely makes up for it. But yeah, technically, it is a bit slow for Iron to actually go all the way up and get that Growlithe, but it does give them a, it does give a, him a backup in case Rhyhorn doesn't spawn, which uh, is going to be very important for later on. But right now, Sandy's going to go into this fight without a Growlithe, so he is doing 2P. The 2P version of this fight, if I believe to be well, true... true. Getting trolled oh. by Pidgey there on the Vermilion skip, so unfortunately failing the skip. Yeah, that is a bit unfortunate for Triv. It is just the Bell Sprout, so I believe just like a couple of headbutts and it should just be fine. And also means that if you actually, this is technically. Actually, no, this isn't the best. Is this the. No, this is the worst. No, it's the fine one. Yeah, if it's the right one. The skip on Pika, you want to face the trainer on the left. Easier time uh, knocking it out, but Triv gets through it. I um, mean, I'd say that the one on the right is not a massive time you... off failing the skip, and on the way out, you can just hug the side that you failed and um, get out the, uh, a little bit easier. Yeah. So here, this fight is a bit awkward. You think you have to set up two X attacks on Pika, just so that your headbutt has a good chance to KO the Gloom, whereas against um against whereas if you have the Growlithe you can just uh use a flamethrower headbutt plus flamethrower and the uh, sorry not the gloom the oddish would then um be taken taken down much easier so it is better it is it's not a bad fight if you don't have Growlithe it's just a way better fight if you do if you do have a Growlithe because as you can see oddish is just living that the rival's oddish is literally living with just a smidge of HP and because of that, does use the potion. So there's a waste, a bit of a waste of time on Sandy's end. Yeah, I think we're going to see like all different fights here. Uh, Sandy no, using I... Iron using. I do believe Iron is using Kadabra. No, he's using. Oh no, Kadabra's on evolve. Abra's on evolve, yeah. So, yeah, and Triff using Kadabra. Use it. So Iron will be using a uh, Growlithe, which is like the normal fight. So you X attack Pikachu turn one to you KO with Zippy Zap, and then turn two you Helping Hand plus Zippy Zap or Double Kick to KO the Eevee, depending on the number of Zippy Zaps you have left. So I think if you have like one left, you should you you should not you should use Double Kick instead. And then turn three, you use Headbutt plus Flamethrower, which KOs the Oddish. The Kadabra is essentially very similar to the Growlithe. Turn one is essentially the exact same. Uh, turn two, instead of uh, using Helping Hand, you just attack with Kadabra. And then turn three, you then also just use Kadabra plus... Um, Kadabra, you just use Kadabra plus Pikachu to knock out the uh, Oddish. Kadabra is m m much better in like the next in the, like root. Is it what? What's the root? What's the root? After nine. No, root nine. Those fights are better because despite the fact Kadabra is using a weaker special attack move, Kadabra's special attack is a hundred and five, which is very high. So yeah, so it does more damage. As Sandy lines uh, themselves with the trainer skip, does get the trainer skip on the way up. Does he? Does sorry? Do they get uh, anything? No, no Growlithe. No. Sandy any... just moving on without the Growlithe. There's a couple more opportunities to grab it. Uh, does Tanky uh, mean they no get no the fire stone? But Sandy here. It is going to be a bit worrisome on catches later on like yes yeah, sandy is like going on much further progression from the plot compared to both iron and triv but sandy only has 16 which is fairly low from this point compared to trivs and, and 
I and 21 and 20, respectively. It's yeah, low, I think that it, all the things that spawn on Route 6 do spawn on Route, uh, what is it, 9? I think the one from Lavender to Celadon. So uh, we do have another chance at uh, all of them on that. Uh, I think uh, that's 8 that and 7. I think that's eight. 7 and 8 because this is 9. 9 and 10. Yeah, this is not. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so this is nine. Eight, yeah. So then... Sandy still has an opportunity to get those. Um, they're not. They're not out of the woods yet. 16 is a scary number to have uh, going into the section, but uh, as long as Route 10 uh, isn't trolly, which is uh, not a guarantee. Uh, yes, but before be we to, uh, before we can even get to route, route 10, we have to go through uh, these fights. And without Growlithe, they're not entirely uh, great fights to go through, especially this Gloom. I could see Sandy losing a lot of time here. Just... Uh, having to like slowly take down this gloom and especially if this gloom poisons is going to be also a bit of a problem iron does get the skip back up and uh as trip did fail the skip earlier she can just hug the right trainer and uh just yeah just nicely go through it yeah and i think sandy is just like in tournament mode i can't wait i have to i have to win i mean all of these runners they have to win so I'm not not waiting for Pokemon to spawn. Just and we had yeah. mentioned it, but this is a lower bracket race, so it is uh, elimination or bust. So you must win to advance to lower bracket finals. I'd say like the most stressful fight for actually um, not having a Growlithe or Cadaver is actually uh, this fight here, because a uh, Sandshrew can uh, be very 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 annoying especially if it goes for dig and targets pikachu that's not a good that's not a good thing but uh note that iron did actually pick up the i didn't actually know if it is actually a repel that you can pick up in this room i did not know that but that pokeball that triv is actually running past is actually a repel so iron did pick that up Ooh, we do see sand attack so that's a uh, bit of a pain so hopefully doesn't affect too much zippy zap does not miss thankfully it also has that effect that it cannot actually yeah it's plus two priority always crits I and also doesn't miss so that is so at least uh pikachu despite being minus one accuracy can still zippy zap the eradicate but yeah these fights are not particularly great as you'll see in iron screen he does switch with to kadabra kadabra is consistently better in the, all of these fights even if it is it's like taking a turn to switch it is much better to do the all these fights with kadabra than it is to do with growlith because the ranges that growlith would have a level 17 is not a problem with kadabra yeah and after these fights um we're getting to the most important section or two catch routes in the game basically like a lot of a lot of runs are being are are, are are won or lost on route 10 and rock tunnel yep um rock are quite tunnel a... is where runs go to die yeah and... normally you don't like often runs even if runs are not very good you often keep running until you get to like finish rock tunnel because there's just so much room there to either improve or yeah also just need to see how people get like get to like the route 10 some people like do the Maybe 2 not going for the yolo route spinner route pass there unfortunately yeah so route 10 we have a lot of things to catch and the crabby is still good uh two so there are four pokemon that can spawn on this route at any given time uh sandy waiting on a third one to spawn there uh but does get some pretty good spawns uh near and female and crabby I would have probably went for the grand female off. first, but throw there. No, I think what? the the Krabby first to get the XP on it. Uh, but you, I think you'd rather have Nidoran female have more EXP overall because you actually use it in fights if you don't get a Nidoran male. Sandy could just yeah. be input letting more things spawn. Catching the Krabby does open up a spawn slot, so uh, maybe just letting the uh yeah. Fero's not great. Uh, Rat, yeah, that, dude, don't want Fero. By the, uh, the beak of Fero. Yeah, you do not want to catch Fero. Fero is a bit of a bit of a pain. Oh, I am, why is I am using Oddish? Can that ever die or something? I actually don't know why. I actually uh, don't know why. 
uh, he's uh, using uh, Oddish, but what? But because uh, Cadaver is just way better in this in this case, but there's probably a reason. But yes, catching catching here the two most important catches, regardless, is the the Nidos. You need at least one. Ideally, you want Nidoran male, but uh, Nidoran female can work. And I think for Sandy, he might just have to leave with a Nidoran theme with a Nidoran female, not a Nidoran male. And going for Raticate. Raticate's a pretty good catch here. Does give a lot of experience. I gets Rat. Does get Spear. Oh, get get that Chansey. Hello. Uh, Iron actually oh, making their way to the right side of the route. Uh, for those that don't know, that Pokeball over there is actually a backup Super Potion. So uh, it'd be interesting to see if uh, Iron picks that up. Trev actually does get a little bit more feeling, uh, of a normal catch route and iron does say in chat that the answer is no he he is not gonna go for chancy at least not yet he could be trolling as well on chat so are uh, iron losing the crowd here the crowd is booing i mean triv didn't go for chancy either so i wouldn't suspect i iron to go anyway it is a bit of a risk this he is, is even uh, the last so? place I would catch Chansey during a run. I would not catch Chansey after uh, this part of the game. Uh, it's too too difficult to catch, um, and doesn't really give a lot of benefit after this point. Unless you're very desperate. Yeah, if you if you really need one extra Pokemon on seventeen. Or your minus not attack. Good, not very good. Like minus attack, minus special. You probably want to go for Chansey, but since none of our runners have uh, minus offensive stat, then I think it's actually probably best not to go for Chansey. I don't know, it, de it, de it depends. Rattata after catching uh, the... Ooh, Trip is actually going to go for Nidorina instead of the Nidoran female that I definitely did see. Yeah, yeah it, just, it gets Trip a lot of EXP. Was running towards the bottom of the screen, so Trip might have missed it, but... Can go for Need Arena and just catch the Need Arena and bin it. I I did commentary yesterday with Riff and it just gives a lot of EXP. That is true. So I that guess if you're lacking of... EXP, you can just do that. Yeah, that's a lot of EXP. I did get Need Arena mail, so we'll likely be uh, doing Nido King anyway. So um, it's not a big deal. Just uh, catching both um, Need Arena, Need Arena, just giving a lot of EXP experience there. <laughs> You could actually argue to catch, still catch the Need Arena because it's still just the Pokemon. You just chuck the ball and just don't evolve it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. Let's see. Uh, Sandy is actually going to deposit. I think it's going to repel as well. Because uh, it does have a rat in the party, so that's the one to deposit that. But might actually repel and try yeah, to go for. Uh, yeah, we we'll oh. just reset up the spawns. And probably try to go for Nido Rena, Nido Ram Male. Oh, that is a Rattata, that is Rat, Rat, and uh, Firo. So uh, Sandy yeah. just deciding that none of these are worth getting, and uh, we'll uh, do the Team Rocket fight. Uh, Sandy does uh, has unmarked uh, Nido Ram Male uh, from their catch tracker. So uh, and, and Firo. if Sandy decides to go back up, uh, doing this Team Rocket fight does reset all the spawns there. So. Uh, can maybe do a quick check just to see if Nidoran male spawns, and then if it doesn't, just uh, run. Uh, just I think on. because Sandy did unmark it, I don't think they're actually going to um, cat actually go back up. I think Sandy's going to be like, nope, I need to move. It's time for move. It's time. It's time to go. We just need to Sandy go and hope. And hope Rock Tunnel either. is better than Route Ten. Because... Yeah. Also, like how how Sandy has been running, not waiting. Just going and trying to solve problems later on. That might be a bit of a pain, especially if Rock Tunnel is pretty mean, because going 22 into Rock Tunnel is kind of low compared to Triv's 28 and Iron's 26 as of right now. And they're still catching, po and they're still like catching Pokemon, so. Sandy does still have uh, over 50 marks, so. It's not the end of the world, but we will need to see a lot of things spawn. Uh, Sandy does still have the Growlithe Arcanine mark, so uh, right now only 51 possible catches uh, on this catch route. 
Yeah, so, I was getting correct. 22 is uh, spawns. Uh, Sandy deciding, yep, just gonna move on. Yeah. And, uh, also being corrected, 22 is about normal for Pika, whereas 26 is actually relatively high to be at this point. So, uh, Sandy oh, getting, no, we're uh, supposed to see a bunch Onyx. of things. Onyx, not one of them. Uh, nope. Uh, catching Onyx in Tunnel is bad. Uh, it's fine to get it in Mount Moon, but in Tunnel it's uh, a little not great. Uh, Zubat spawning for Sandy, so Sandy probably turn around and go get that Zubat. Yeah, probably will do that after this, after the fight. Uh, and also, we didn't actually ever mention, Pikachu now has a pretty good special move now, being in Thunderbolt. While its other three moves are physical, Thunderbolt is special, so it does allow it to target Pokemon on the weakest special side, like, say, this Slowpoke. Do not accidentally not teach Thunderbolt. It, it will give you a bad time. Don't ask why. Why? Sandy deciding not to go for that Zubat. Uh, ooh, does get a Rhyhorn. Oh, That's Rhyhorn immediately is lot, huge. Actually. So this will actually save time, not just in like being, you know, a good catch. You know, Rhyhorn is definitely a good catch, but Rhyhorn's a good catch not because it's a good Pokemon, but it's also our first indication of a ride Pokemon. So. You can actually, there's no bicycle in this game, so you can actually, but instead you can ride Pokemon. And Rhyhorn is the fastest movement Pokemon we can get as of right now. There is one we'll get later that is even faster. But getting Rhyhorn early is actually really good because the more you go through Rock Tunnel, the more, the, the faster you would just go if you have Rhyhorn early versus Rhyhorn late, so you don't have to walk the entire place. So Sandy Indeed. will. Definitely mark Rhyhorn as a ride Pokemon, and we will be we seeing. Zooming. Yep. Uh, Graveler spawning and Machop. I uh, think yeah. like not to go for the Graveler. Does need Graveler at some point, but deciding. Uh, I think. No, yeah, no, no. no. What he's board. going? Yeah, he's going for Machop first, Oof. and then going for Graveler. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. And the reason why you want to do that is so that you can get Machop the EXP with the Graveler. So, this is actually I, really good. Uh, yeah, Matchup needs uh, needs four levels to evolve. There are a few Pokemon here, in uh, like the Krabby, the Matchup, and the, the Cubone. All need four levels to evolve, so... Something like a... And then, yeah, it does go back for the Graveler. That is, uh, that is uh, definitely the correct, the correct idea. So, it's getting itself a good Rock Tunnel. Uh, Tra Sandy is getting themselves a good rock tunnel, so that's uh, pretty good. Triff's not getting really good spawns immediately. I saw two Geodudes and a Golbat. Yeah, Triff's uh, Triv gonna need a little bit of help here in tunnel. Hopefully, the rest of Triff's spawns are fine. I didn't see iron spawns yet, so I should uh, see. Triv that is a glowing one, so that's good. Yeah, that's a good start. Ideally, if you have an option, you want Graveler to be last. That is unfortunate on. Uh, trip side because you want to catch everything and then get the Graveler EXP on the entirety of your party but obviously you don't have much of a choice as we see Iron's first catch in Rock Tunnel is actually the Graveler so is going to Raspberry to increase the catch rate and get it as excellent because this is actually a really good amount of EXP that you can get on all your Pokemon shame that Iron has to get it first doesn't look like there's anything there um, no. for Sandy uh, in the second yeah. room. Uh, Angus-Con. Angus oh, uh, I don't think... I I don't know if she's going to catch it. I don't no, think she will. I'm not going to catch kangas no. No. no Kangas today. Shame we get no. Kanga before Rhyhorn, but Duke does see a Rhyhorn, so... Oh, second room, Iron, not bad. Iron just uh, walking down the stairs when a Cubone spawned, but luckily got saved. Yeah, he does get another Cubone. Downstairs. Does accidentally uncall the second controller, so we'll be calling it back very very shortly, I think. Yep. There's actually a little bit of a delay if you uncall the second controller. You can't call it back for a little bit of time. I know, I know that feeling. It's a bit annoying. Yeah, and, they, and then you shake and then... Oh, you want to play with your partner Pokemon? No, no. No, no, no. We don't want to, we don't, we don't, we don't want to spend bonding time with our, with our partner Pokemon. That's lame. That's not fast. It's not Sun and Moon. Uh, yeah, so Trev is gonna also mark Rhyhorn. Avoid all the encounters because despite there being a lot of encounters, it's oh, actually uh, just all Manny getting another uh, Onyx spawn. What the snake doing? 
And what the sna- what the rock snack doing? There is a Cubone. Unfortunately, it is... In Wait, no, it's just gonna walk? Fine, don't worry about it. You're going a little risky here. Nah, nah, Sandy's gonna Maybe be fine. Could be fine? No, no, Sandy's fine. Uh... Only the Rhyhorn is going to be seeing the trainer, but I do believe the actual body of the trainer needs to be seen yeah. for a trainer fight to actually happen. If I recall, the trainer version. Version. just a little bit scary. I had to wait for the Cubone to kind of move a little to the left there. But yeah. Sandy does get the Cubone. That is good. Wonder if when they're going to party manage the Cubone the party. Now, and we are done with catching, so. Well, there is one thing Sandy could try and get, but. Not sure if you would actually keep up a lore for it. And that is a special spawn of oh, Charmander. Oh, Sandy hitting the trainer. No! Uh, oh. Not... Uh, not the oh, end, because the Geodude well. actually stopped the way a little bit. And uh, Trev gets also another Snack blocking the way. But, yeah, that's already two, in two optionals in this run. One for Trev and one for Sandy. And, oh, no, you have to fight an Onyx as a Pikachu. That does not sound like a good idea. Oh, I actually have no idea. Oh, this fight this fight seems bad, actually, now the more I look at it. Iron does get his uh, Rhyhorn, so that's good. I believe this is like the th still the second room, so not that bad for Rhyhorn. It might be the third room, I'm not, not, I don't quite, I wasn't quite paying attention. Yeah. Oh, don't have a second Onyx. Please don't. I actually don't know what this trainer has. I have no idea, I've never hit this guy. I don't have to flex. Yeah, I don't have to flex on the thing you didn't hit this guy ever. Ooh, maybe oh, worse. Oh no, worse than Onyx. Oh boy, let's see what happens here. Oh dig! Oh no! Oh no! You had to hope it goes to Need Arena, and not the Pikachu. Otherwise, we're gonna have problems. Well, it does seem fine now. So, okay. Oh, I'm going to get uh, Zubat, which is accidentally toxic again. And Sandy, if uh, they used the helping hand there, that would have killed. But uh, this one, Sandy just has to get through this turn. Uh, they use toxic, so yeah, toxic uh, will kill the um, the thing. Does retreat the Pikachu into Graveler just in case we don't. We do want. In case we have to do this fight, we met yeah, and did target the Pikachu. You don't want the Pikachu to die. So yep. smart play on Sandy. Not gonna be using Graveler for anything. But yeah, this trainer does suck. T does does suck to fight. We're not going to see uh right uh, uh Graveler explosion strats, you think? No. Uh Pikachu has one strat for Giovanni and one strat only. Yeah, you can't do the uh, boom strats on Pika uh, because there is a Rhyhorn that we need to kill on uh, Giovanni's team. And unfortunately, we don't have a water or grass move on this Pika. That would be really handy, but we don't get that. So, Triv doing the menus for evolving Nido, Nido Reno into Nido King right now and depositing the entire party before going to this next fight. May up. No way, this is the Ace Trainer. You don't. Heal on the you don't heal on the ace trainer. Well, you could heal and not have to heal for the trainer after it. it, it I don't. Know. We're gonna have, we'll we'll see what they we we'll see what they do. They are, this is the the fight that Iron's on is the only fight you technically have to two p. You can one p the ace trainer. It is a bit risky, especially if you get the ten percent chance to burn, which does act like seventy percent some of the time. Yeah, and Trip does do two p stuff for this fight, so. This fight you can do 1P, but you uh, it's and much safer. Any option to to see this fight here? Yeah, considering the uh, disaster that was the other fight, then yeah, I think you do uh, to see. I think I might commit to one seeing. Yeah, even with yeah. that option, well, Sandy's still on pretty good pace here uh, through tunnel. Uh, did not lose a ton of time to the optional. Oh, no, yeah, but behind, behind on catches. Yeah. So, it'll be interesting to see. we we'll wait till the very end to see what the catch counts is for all our runners. But uh, looking at the catch count, right, at least right now, 26 for Sandy, 33 for Triv, 
and 32 for iron. So Sandy does have a lot of catches to, uh, well, catch up, I suppose. And, uh, but I don't think there's like anything else in Rock Tunnel with the exception of like a red char. Oh, so I guess that Sandy needs. Let me just quickly double check. Uh, Sandy oh, just Zubat. needs uh, Zubat. Um, if Rare Char spawns, that'd be great for Sandy, but um, does find a Zubat. Let's find the final. Is Sandy actually getting a pretty good tunnel. Um... But yeah, I think that's everything but uh, Rock, but but Charmander. So basically just perfect uh, tunnel, I suppose. Especially the fact that Raihorn was first. So... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it I think the only help a lot. I I think the only problem for Sandy is that both Triff and Iron also got everything in tunnel. So, yeah, uh, you're not really catching up with that. Yeah, no. And actually, I think now at this point, uh, Triff and Iron now passes Sandy because Sandy still hasn't done the picnicer, whereas Triff and Iron, yeah, Triff and Iron is now going to do the picnicer themselves. Uh, Triv does not get the fake out, but Iron does. So, I see the picnic does have favorites. Is it the picnic? I think it's a picnic, right? Yeah, it's a picnic. Trying yeah, to picnic, try remember the picnic. Picnic Dan, Dana. 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 And, uh, yeah, we do not need to learn agility. Pikachu's fast enough. And uh, they're both going to leave roughly at the same time. Triv with 34 and Iron with 32. So the lead right now, definitely, I'd say Triv is definitely in the lead. They're both like, both Triv and I are very much the same story, but Triv does have two extra mons in her bag. Yeah, now whereas, we get to uh, an important whereas fight. San yeah, whereas, I'm going to say real quick, Sandy, definitely behind now. Not only just in like plot progression, doesn't but also like in catch is being with only 27 that's five behind iron yeah and sandy also doesn't have the the nido king which is the better one definitely gonna be a struggle for sandy to get here but right now we have the uh, tower rival or i believe is rival four we do skip one but that's fine it's still rival four um, this fight, uh, Triv and I are actually going to be doing the exact same strat, which is to, uh, turn, kill the Pidgeot and power up the Nido King twice so that, uh, it can then sweep the entire team. Uh, and... Iron's, Iron's Nido King is actually a level higher. I'm not sure how much that will matter. Probably not here, but... It doesn't really matter here, here, but it does out. help in hideout, yeah. Whereas the fight for Sandy is a bit different. Instead, you want to actually power up the Pikachu. And then it does take like two turns to KO the Gloom compared to one, so you do lose time here. And also have to deal with uh, what we call the Casino later on. The one fight in the Casino. And then... But yeah, not not too much. Not it's not it's not a scary fight. Not having a Nido King. But yeah, that's uh, that is gonna be a Tower Rival or Rival Four, depending on how you want to call it. And we will be. Essentially having to remember all our runners to go up one floor before using the escape rope. It's surprising that this game that handholds you so much does not tell you about this one little bit of detail and doesn't stop you. Anyway, Boo is a ghost. So, yes, you can use an escape rope in a building. I know it sounds a little bit 
weird to use an escape rope in a building, but uh, I guess you can just like jump out the window and throw the rope so you don't actually crash land. So, I mean, it's a bit disrespectful to do it in a graveyard if you got to, if like FYI. But uh, yeah, now Jesse and James tell us exactly where we need to go because uh, this game really wants to tell you you need to go to this place. They really do an excellent job in that. And looking at the catch counts for both Triv and Iron, I don't think they need to catch anything in Route 7 or 8. So they can just skip everything. I think they will pick up the Firestone. They probably will. Because there is a Firestone you could pick up, but there's like the stress you want to do. Also, Triv says the Guido is actually minus attack. So that's not going to be fun. So here, Iron and Triv are just going to hit Poison Jab and should just KO this Clefairy. Whereas Sandy will not be able to do that and will actually have two turns to do a peak with this uh, Clefairy. You ideally want to use Headbutt turn one so that you can try and flinch so it doesn't use a random move. But you don't have to. Iron actually chooses not to grab the fight. Never mind. Sandy setting up a lure uh, does recognize that their catch count is uh, a bit on the low end. Yeah. Interesting so, way I didn't choose to get this Firestone. Firestone and hopefully seeing something like Growlithe or Abra. Uh, Triv almost yeah. hitting the uh, gambler there. Yeah. I actually has a. That's actually an interesting way I actually chose to get the Firestone. Uh, Triv actually cut both bushes to get the Firestone, whereas I actually went around the square perimeter and then cr and cut the bush on the other side which does you know save a cut bush animation so yeah you don't have to wait for the spinner or like All right. walk around the spinner yeah the only, the only downside for that is that uh if um the catch route goes a little south uh, they can't go ev into flareon as a backup All right what is this exclamation mark metronome gonna be Hopefully it's not uh that bad. It's, uh, doesn't it go for headbutt. Undershock. <laughs> oh, okay, we're fine. So uh, the AI is also playing Let's Go Pikachu. So yeah. Also very important that you actually do this. You can technically do this a little later, but it is important you talk to this person so that you set all your Pokemon to modest. I mean, uh, Sandy has an Arcanine on their screen. They're not going for it. I don't think so. no, you wouldn't. Yeah, no. Uh, still waiting for Growlithe to spawn. See a Jigglypuff. This is not good yet, but there is still an opportunity in the next route. So there isn't. There isn't a. So there is still a chance for a Growlithe to spawn. Still a chance for Abra to spawn. You really want to see just the puppy. Ideally. Uh, Trim and I are heading into the first Rocket Grub, both choosing to go for the 2P strat of this fight, which is actually just much safer than the 1P strat. Uh, 1P strat, you just go Needle King and you just Poison Jab twice, and it can be it can be dangerous, but 2P is just a whole lot safer. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna start the Rocket mid-game, or just the Rocket hideout section, where... This is where having bad stats on your Pika and also your Nido King can actually be bad. And also the differences between Nido King and Nido King will will uh, be in full force. So they considered the Arcanine. Well, actually, real quick fact: both I and Triv are actually going to be doing this fight. This is actually arguably the only fight that Nido King is arguably better because Crunch is better than Poison Jab. Hey, so, no fight. I, I don't think that's even arguable. Because uh, Crunch... Oh, what? Well, well, because Crunch does more damage, right? Yeah, I think like Crunch fight. just kills with, like, a zippy zap. Yeah, you, uh... This is just, uh... This is, yeah. like, the only fight Nido Queen is better for. Yeah. So, turn as opposed to two. Yeah. 
So both Iron and Trev gonna take that gonna take down this rocket grunt. Uh the Raticate fight for Nita Queen is actually a bit different. Actually the notes do say just to do the one to just do this fight 1P instead with Pikachu. But you can do this fight 2P if you wanna play it safe. Uh Rocket Puzzle, uh I haven't to know what any of those except for like the rare candy, not know any of what those items are because I have not had to pick them up yet, which is nice and It'll be interesting to see uh, which bush will defend uh, in that room. Um, and I think, camera, there's a Tia. Rest is in the other room. Rest is in the other room. I know exactly where that one is. Don't ask why. There's a. It's either a full restore or a hyper potion that's at the other end of the maze. There's a hyper yes, potion so. there. Yeah. Yes, yes. So. I am just going to straight up poison jab twice. Just go for the poison jab fight, whereas. Triv, because has a minus attack, will be using an X attack in this fight. Uh, this, depending on how good your Needle King is, you can technically have this in two fights if you Poison Jab does good enough damage. And if you're lucky enough, if you get the Poison, you can actually do this in two turns. But, uh, doesn't quite get it, whereas Triv is definitely going to have this in three, in also three turns because of the X attack. But you do get the one shot from Voltorb. And here we see the cringe skill for Sandy. Yeah. Now it'll be interesting to see how people tackle this Grimer. In Pikachu, there are actually a multitude of different ways to tackle the Grimer. Uh, I see... Actually, because Triv's plus special attack, uh, you can actually go for X special Thunderbolt, and that just kills the, Grim the, the Grimer. There are other ways to deal with it. If your Pikachu actually has bad special attack, you might want to consider moving Rhyhorn to the first slot of your party now instead of after this fight, so that you can... Which is actually exactly what Iron is going to do. And do a, essentially a different strat. Instead of X Special Thunderbolt, you X Attack Horn Drill. No, not Horn Drill. Drill Run, that's the one. Yeah, Drill Run. And if it if Grandma does do Minimize, you're actually fine still, because you can Helping Hand Stomp the following turn. There is a third version of the fight that you can do, which is Solo Pika. And that one is just Thunderbolt plus Zippy Zap. Because uh, if you Thunderbolt, you get Disable or Minimize, Zippy Zap can then get the KO afterwards. And that is actually the 1P version of the fight. It'll be uh, interesting to see uh, how it goes. Let's see, uh, no Minimize on Iron Screen, that'll be great. Oh, you actually don't even need the extra, just Helping Hand. Yep, no Min- Actually, the Rhyhorn was faster than the Grimer. I think. Or am I just being crazy? I hope I wasn't being crazy. We see this uh, funny little uh, part uh, where you actually like run around with the Pokemon. I always yeah. thought it was a shame that they never put this anywhere else in the game. It's just this little section. Yeah. Uh, Sandy... Oh yeah, because you don't have, you still have Nido Queen. So I want to. I actually am curious what strat Sandy's going for. Oh, uh, it's two P. I didn't see the second. Oh, I didn't didn't see the second controller. Sandy's and already got my uh, horn. Nido Queen. Okay. My horn uh, in the front of their party. Yeah. So. You want to do this, you want to put Rhyhorn in the front of the party because you, because every runner here is actually going to be doing Rhyhorn strats for the next fight, for the uh, next fight, for the next fight, the Jesse, the next Jesse and James fight. The old strat used to be, the old strat is actually a strat that we still do in the, the Jesse and James afterwards, which is you set up a Pokemon, you set up the Pikachu and use a Pokemon that just instantly uh, gets KO'd by the Arbok and the Weezing, so Clefairy, Paris, uh, Jigglypuff, any of those would work. And you kind of just uh, hope and pray that the Pikachu can just kind of like live on. Uh, the Rhyhorn strats, because you're actually using a Pokemon that actually do actually is resistant to poison by, I believe, quite effective, you can actually like use this rank Rhyhorn's bulkiness to actually like tank a few hits and actually use super effective ground coverage to take care of the thing, which is much better than using like Pikachu's like Thunderbolt to try and deal with it instead. Yeah, you, you can also see the even Eevee uses uh 
can use the Rhyhorn strat on this fight. They don't use Nido, but they do use uh, the EV to use Glitzy Glow to set up a light screen. To set up a light screen. And also hit like super effective damage that also helps too. No, but for this fight, this Christian Games fight, you can X attack the Rhyhorn and Drill Rim. Yeah. That's if your uh, attack is good just... enough, you can one shot the Arbok in one turn. Hopefully that happens. Nah, we do get that for at least on Triff's side. Hopefully Iron gets the same thing as well. And there's actually a couple of options you can do. Uh, X attack drill run again is probably the still the best option to do. Also, there's a rare candy you pick up here, very important for later. Uh, if your right horn is good, you can helping hand drill run as well. It was so close to getting the KO there for Triff. Yeah, yeah. So here you can just uh, stomp and also heal the Neo King for the fights coming up. Does choose to use a potion instead of a stupid potion, which you know makes sense. Does have to heal after this menu anyway, so uh, it does make some sense because you have to get this toxic off the. No, you don't. Uh, no, you don't. Well, right horns are uh, done. You, you don't. You actually don't heal. You the you he, you get the toxic off on the heal pad in tower. So you you don't actually heal the right horn at all. It's now oh, Pikachu and oh, right you swap Pikachu to the front here, yeah. Yeah. If you're using right horn, then something bad has happened. Uh, which uh, can happen in this fight because uh, Archer is a bit of a, a bit of a bully. Even this one, believe me, I know firsthand. There are a couple of ways. The, the general strat is you're going to hit the Weezing twice and you're going to use the next special. However, it'll be interesting to see if people choose to just Thunderbolt twice or if people will actually uh, use Headbutt into Thunderbolt. I think Triff can actually go for that because of its plus because of the plus special attack on the Pikachu. But chooses not to. Because I don't think this kills in one go. Because Weezing's still surprisingly bulky. Yeah. So you don't you wanna see you will see Sludge Bomb. Thankfully you do take it you do take it nicely. Uh fun little fact, if you have no HP AVs and no special defense AVs, uh Sludge Bomb plus poison will kill you. Without a crit. But no uh, HP AVs. I mean, no HP, no special defense. Yeah, but when does that, that ever happen? Uh, there was one race that happened. May or may not have been me. That happened too. Well, then I'm jealous of your AVs, Fred. Yeah, you're jealous of my AV spread until you realize you lose so much time on this fight. Uh, oh yeah, oh uh, yeah, Iron went for the headbutt plus, is gonna, actually went for the headbutt strap. So now you're gonna see the, try, didn't get the flinch unfortunately, so, well, the Pikachu did take a huge amount of damage. But, and then next turn you use Thunderbolt, he, and then this turn you now use the Thunderbolt plus, um, heal, so the Pikachu is full health, and, uh, as we mentioned earlier, uh, while Eevee may have multiple strats for Giovanni, uh, Pikachu has one. Cut up to plus six, KO the Persian, Helping Hand plus Helping Hand double kick the Rhyhorn. That is, it's the only strat and will probably be the only strat for Pikachu for the for foreseeable time. Because plus six by itself doesn't kill this Rhyhorn. You need plus six and the Helping Hand. And if you have minus attack, it's still a range to KO. Yeah, as an EV runner, that's just uh, crazy for me. Because yeah, yeah, the Ryan is just going three. To like clock ten uh, to one shot this. Because the way again, work. because again, double kick is our best fighting type move. We don't get any. We don't get anything better. Uh, EV, we delete double kick uh, as soon as we're done with Mount Moon, but uh, Pika actually carries it uh, all the way to the end. Yeah, this is actually the last fight we uh, use double kick. Uh, the last, the next fight we're going to be using with Pikachu is going to be, I can actually tell you, two Zippy Zaps and then spam Thunderbolt. Just fight the Brick Break coach trainer. I don't even think Pikachu learns Brick Break. So even if it did. 
I don't think it would. Oh, get Pika a water move. Yeah. Uh, we wish Pika could evolve into like a water type Pokemon. I wish. I mean, it does get Surf, I believe, but I don't know where that is. I don't think it's this one. I think it's the next one. Anyway, Triv actually does skip the Ultra Ball pickups. Uh, seeing the catch count of 34, I can see it. You don't really need to catch that much. In fact, you does have the cool planned. Should yeah, but also 50, 53 planned, so... Oh, it does have 53 planned. That does mean she probably can cut a few months. She's probably waiting for the Ghastly to spawn and then decide what to cut. So here, we're going to add the Growlithe into our party because it's actually going to be our sacrificial puppy. And then we're going to mark it as our ride. You can mark this later, but you can also mark it now. It doesn't really matter too much. And then we're going to fly to Lavender down, and she chooses not to lure. Right, so she who did. here tower lures and who here doesn't? I don't. She, she, she did lure. Oh, she did lure. Yeah. All right, but still, same question. Who here tower lures and who here doesn't? Uh, I've done both, and both with mixed success, so... Yeah, same. I've done both, but I had more success without the lore. So I don't lore. It depends yes. for me now on how many lures I have left, basically. If I can leave on the lures to like the, the, the end game, then I'll put it on. Yeah. For me, I don't like luring, but also the extra benefit of not luring is actually the fact that you could potentially skip the super lure later, which saves picking up an item. Uh, Sandy grabbing the backup Ultra Balls, uh, deciding their catch route. Um, oh, yeah. I need a no, no, Sandy so needs it. Backups. Sandy probably has to go for dumb stuff later, especially um, if Gas. Sandy still has 51 marked, so as long as everything spawns, um, Sandy's still in a pretty good situation. If Gasly doesn't spawn, we're gonna have, we're gonna see, what we might see, like, the dumb stuff come up. Iron does not lure, so we're gonna see who actually gets the spawn here of Ghastly first. So far, we see nothing on Trip's side. Yeah, I, I also I always like the like the the, the, the little cutscene. You walk up the the second pair of stairs, you see all the ghosts. You use the silk scope, and uh, Sandy and does the, and lore. Then, and then you then you unmask the ghost, and then they're like. What a, a ghastly and two hunters and like three Pokemon spawning that never happens in this place. Sandy did lure. Uh, yes, yeah, Sandy did lure. Does make okay. sense, but again, we'll see who gets the. God, that's a haunter or Triv. De definitely don't want to see that. Haunter. Haunter's a big one. Haunter's surprisingly big. You can actually ride the haunter, which would be funny to see, but I don't think any of our runners will do that. Hey guys, there. that's slow. Iron and there's a. Yeah, Iron gets the first Ghastly. And he didn't lure. So. Well, we have to wait until Sandy, like, goes, gets to the floor where Ghastly's can spawn. But yeah. Still thinking that lore is probably a mistake in this room. I mean, looking at Sandy's screen, I see two Ghastlies there, so. That's the cutscene. We have to wait until after this fades to black. There we go. All right, let's see how quickly does uh, Ghastly spawn, if any, because if Ghastly doesn't spawn, that's going to be problematic for Sandy a little bit. Just a little bit problematic. There's Sandy, one. Getting it There's one in a very, very awkward place. Quickly. That trainer does have very good vision. Yeah, I actually see Iron actually take the safe approach in... Uh, does not go for that qu the quarter spin, it just goes for the top and just waits a little bit. But we really hope to see that this trainer does not immediately go up. If that happens, uh, Sandy's going to have another trainer to fight. And that's going to be two... I believe it's two or three Ghastlies that that trainer All right, it has. is a Haunter and a Ghastly. Haunter and a Ghastly. My bad. Not the biggest deal because Pikachu can just zippy zap uh, and just be All the runners fine. getting Ghastly. But yeah, all the runners does get Ghastly. So... Technically, Iron got it got it way earlier than everyone else, so I guess the law, the not law thing, still kind of applies. But whatever, like someone's going to pay, and and uh, yeah, all of them getting ghastly. So 
ca the cash route's going to be a little bit easier for all of our runners going into um, group 18, I believe it's called. But before Pokemon we do Rose. that, Pokemon World is 17. 17, okay. Yeah. Regardless right. of that, um, Sandy can actually stop re Route 17, yep. So Sandy can stop repelling, be stop luring because uh, called the Ghastly already. And already has, uh, I believe, Cubone and Zubat already, so those spawns are kind of irrelevant. And yeah. Now Triv going into the essentially the hardest Jesse and James fight because multiple things can go wrong in this fight. Uh, essentially, as I mentioned before, there was an old strat with the previous Jesse and James fight we used to do. Well, we're still doing it here because uh, Raihorn is unfortunately just not strong enough. So instead we use the Pikachu instead. And we send out the Growlithe and uh, it has one job. Uh, get knocked out. Essentially, we want all the press to all the targets to go to it, and we don't want um, Pikachu to take too much damage. Well, Pikachu's going to take a Sludge Bomb, so hopefully we don't see Poison, because that's slow. Well, and Poison and a Power of the... Uh, Kingler to the second slot of their party, so going to use Kingler as the Sacrificial Lamb here. That could be a problem if they choose not to target it for whatever reason, because Kingler uh, is a little high level. Weezing actually has Thunderbolt, so... Uh, I think it should go down in one hit. Yeah. I don't know if the Weezing has Thunderbolt at this point. I know it has Thunderbolt in the next Justin James fight, but I'm pretty sure it has Thunderbolt at this point as well. Yeah. Sandy also picking up the other Ultra Ball, so has the most amount of Ultra Balls compared to everyone else. Uh, Pikachu wants to learn Thunder. We do not want to learn a move that has 70% accuracy. Thank you very much. Despite that, this is Pikachu's last fight, so we don't need it. And yep, there goes down Jesse and James, and yeah, there's gonna be much, not much of a problem. Thunder strats when? Uh, I don't know, I don't want to skip. Like my last run of this game was my tournament race, and that will still be the case until the next tournament gets announced. Yeah, and uh, for me, Eevee doesn't learn uh, Thunder, so. Nice Ghastly spawn on Sandy. So now we get the Poke Food, which allows us to actually uh, wake up a Snorlax. Uh, hopefully we don't get the excitement that was my race and we got a shiny Snorlax. That would be uh, an interesting thing. Gonna do a little bit of party management, gonna put Ghastly in the front because we do want something that's fast to outspeed it, and we are gonna Firestone the Growlithe as that becomes our ride Pokemon. It is actually, I believe, Gra Arcanine the same speed as Rhyhorn, so that's why we do it, and if we don't have a Rhyhorn and Pika, we do have a Arcanine backup as a ride Pokemon, so... Actually, uh, as correction, um, the speed for the Ghastly doesn't matter. It's a Ghost Pokemon, and Ghost Pokemon can always run. Yep. Oh yeah, that is that added in Gen Seven. Did they add that in Gen Seven? I think uh, Gen, Gen six, six actually. Gen six. Oh, I did not know that. I thought it was just a speed reason as to why yeah, Gastly's are really cannot be trapped, so uh, they can always escape from any fight. Yeah, it makes sense. But Gastly is like fast enough anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So everyone go ahead and use like Allure and then go ahead and oop. Yep. Yeah, I quickly forgot to act not to fight to firestone the Growlithe so we can have a ride Pokemon and we're gonna be essentially running away from that snor essentially there's a Snorlax that's blocking it, we're gonna wake it up, he's gonna challenge us to a fight, we're gonna run away, and it goes away. Do, do you think, think this uh do you think this Snorlax was like a Pokemon sleep uh preview already i think this right. game came out after the announcement of pokemon sleep <laughs> exactly so i think this was maybe it was like hey pretty soon you'll be able to catch snorlax and then i think the devs fell asleep during making that game so the game was uh done too well yeah oh that's the 
Oh wait, guys, we know what the next uh, next uh, remake is gonna be. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a game with integration with sleep. So to catch Pokemon, we actually have to take a nap in the speed run. Yeah, yeah let's go. It's time gated. Yeah. You can't you want fight your Pokemon the third... to get experience. Go to bed. Yeah, you can't fight the third gym until you until you've had eight hours of sleep. Yeah. Pokemon Sleep is like the hardest game ever made. Like, to get a perfect score, you have to sleep eight and a half hours. And I don't think I've slept eight and a half hours in like... Eight and a half uh, hours sleep, man, I, I, I wish I, I could have that. I've done it uh, this uh, it, last night. I had a new PB. Is there, so, yeah, is there a Pokemon Sleep leaderboard? I don't even think there's a Go leaderboard. I think there is one for Pokemon Go. There are yeah, like some sure quests. There is. You, there's some quests you can do. Yeah. Oh yeah, never mind. Uh. How do you speed run sleep? That's gonna be interesting. Anyway. Anyway, uh, we're about to head into essentially kind of like the second to last make. The second to last make. Oh, I guess if you combine the two, it's the last major catching in the game. Uh, the only thing that is required is a pony, ideally a small one and not a big one, because big ones are kind of hard to catch. But if you have, your catch count is so good, you probably don't care which which uh, um, which pony you get. Uh, just having a quick look at the catches, uh, Iron unfortunately cannot go for that, or well, can go for the Pidge Pidgeotto, but it is going to be a duplicate catch, so probably not going to go. Trev not finding anything yet. Does find a Rapidash, but chooses not to go for it. But does find a pony afterwards, so you don't get punished. Let's go. Yeah, we, we want to use the Lord. Don't, it, it, we still have things to catch game. As uh, Iron does get himself a Psyduck, so that's pretty good. Uh... Triff still has the tentacle mark, but I'm pretty sure she's going to unmark it very short, very shortly. So Sandy because... grabbing uh, the Doduo. Uh, there is also a duck on their screen. Ooh, that I probably that's still fine for catching, but it's still in the circle, but it's not like nice or great or anything. It's just normal catch, but yeah, still just fine. Uh, Triff would like Triff can technically just leave because he just needs the pony. Uh, and does have the do Dodrio, and yeah, she is leaving. Uh, what this means that she will be catching the tentacle. It is still as planned because it's now 51. We're, and we'll be getting the star, but technically speaking, with this catch count, she can arguably skip either Lapras or Porygon, and probably in this case, skipping Lapras, because she is on a odd uh plan marker with uh both lapras with both lapras and all primer and just box it that is also yeah, true or, or, or the tentacle yeah just one of the two of them and just box it instead of doing that the, the gift mons are they're just too fast to grab and they're always worth it so oh yeah if, if you if. skip the if you skip the the lapras you also skip the rare candy there so you have to think about picking up the candy you mentioned yeah, that is also true. That is dumb things to note. Uh, still only has a 49 plan, but hear me out. Magma. That yeah, is a good bit of a 50th catch. I think it's fine. If you really need a 50th, it's fine. Yeah, I think Magma probably going to be the fifth. Maybe just get a cool if Swan spawns and just say, yeah, that's fine. Or maybe even a Ditto. That also works too. Yeah, you just catch like one of them. The ditto is awful. You never go. Um, Iron is, I believe, also now done with the uh, cycling road catches with Route 17 catches, so does not have to uh, catch anything. And having a look at his catch count, did not get the do. Hasn't marked it, but I believe he did catch the do duo. If he didn't, nope. then no, he did not catch the do duo. So. That's gonna be. He, he just added in tent the tenters, and this time with intention of actually going to get one. 
So that's going to be an interesting thing to see. Yeah, Sandy candying and evolving the Rapid Ash. Definitely smart for faster movement. Uh, Triv now actually going to be getting her star very shortly. So we're going to be interested what CP uh, it's going to be. So far, none has spawned quite yet, but let's uh, have a look. Well, when, 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 it, when it eventually spawns. As Sandy is getting a lot of the pokes right now. And we have seen Triv Mark in the Magma, so she will be catching, attempting to catch it, but no star. No star for Triv yet, so that is not good. Game, we, we don't want oh, Magic Cups. We, want stream. we don't want Magic Cups, we want stars, please. And not not, not the purple one, the, the, the yellow one. Star? Okay, tentacle and another tentacle, a lot of tentacles. Another. Star? Oh, that is not another Game. tentacle. A star Astro me. You do not want to go for star me. Star me is very bad. Yeah, I think Game. she wants to. Yep. Oh my god, Kane. I'm going to use the last lure and the last repel to respawn the route. Aim, please. Hello. Uh, right ah, that is it. That is ah. In front of the spinner, nope. we have to wait a little bit. Yeah, we have to start. Hopefully, it's a good CP. 1088. That's good. Or 1088. 1088, so. Evolve Pretty ever. Decent star, actually. Yeah. yeah. You're happy so, with a star like that. It did take, a, you know, a couple of repels and lures to get one, but, you know. We actually have, hopefully, a good star, and hopefully, it's all in, like, special attack and speed. So, maybe it's a good star. Hopefully. So, CP, I like to call this as combined power, because it just combines all of your stats into one arbitrary number. So, it could mean that your special attack and speed are very good, but it could also mean that your attack is good, and that's not good. Yeah, yesterday we saw a race where uh, I believe Dynam had like one that was like 1090, um, but at like two AVs in special attack. Let's see. How long does it take Iron to get his star? Ah, there it is. That's already immediately there. And Iron with a... 1076. 10, 10, 10, so these are high stars. They're not like super high. None of them have reached the 11 mark, but these are pretty high stars. There's the Magmar for Trip. Yeah, hopefully this Magmar can stay. And because she is going for Magmar, she can do Magmar strats. Thank you, Nanum, for letting us know what Magmar strats are. But it'll be interesting to see, because Magmar does learn both Fire Punch and Flamethrower, so you can use either X Attack or X Special on Magmar, depending on which one you have left. Has. Yeah. So, you know, pretty good, pretty good stuff. That's a lot of... Wow, that's a lot of EXP, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That's a bit of a wombo there. Well, you she do probably see wanted to have the, No, she wanted to have the star in there, I guess, but it's not in there, in the party. That might have been a level for the star. Yeah, that could have been a level as well, and you would have been saved candy. Candy and also saved the turnaround. Oh! oh hello! Shiny tentacle! For and it's actually a Pokemon he needs to catch as well, so let's go! Uh, Iron does need uh, another Pokemon, so this does work. I have, this is actually the first time I've seen a Shiny tentacle. It actually looks really cool. Yeah, it's it's one of the green Shinies. A lot of the Gen 1 Shinies are green, but uh, this one actually looks pretty good. Um, Sandy still looking. Uh, Sandy gets their star. Uh, Sandy yeah, probably star looking is, for like a Tangler, maybe, or a Vile Plume, just to see, but doesn't get either. So, uh, about average. Yeah, 1050 being the worst is actually not that bad. Yeah, and again, the, the CPs don't say anything really. Yeah, it could yeah. be. Uh, I did the math on it. I think like I think it's like ten sixty eight or something is like perfect speed, perfect special attack, and zero and everything else. So it's it, it's it, the CP is a lie, is what we say. I yeah, think it's a lot lower than that even. Yeah, CP is. Ooh, 
Interesting. Choosing to reset the route, I think. Or uh, Sandy. Would you like to explain why you catching a Pidgey in this route? That you already have. He doesn't have a Pidgey, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, Sandy, that actually gets them to 50. Uh, they have marked Magmar. Um, that puts them at 50, so they don't need anything else. Oh, okay. Uh, could have so... evolved it into Pidgeotto and skipped getting Magmar, but uh, maybe deciding... Uh, oh, no, uh, it was Route 1. So uh, yeah, they are no. at... Sandy is now actually at 50, so this is actually works out perfectly for Sandy. I guess just kind of hoping for, like, a Pidgeot spawn. Yeah, if Pidgeotto yeah. spawned there, um, Pidgeotto, you don't I mean... need to do that, but... Um... This actually yeah. does get Sandy to the 50 mark. Yeah. So, actually, that Triv was a very Green good, uh, actually, very good see... way to do that, actually. Uh, um, we're going to see Triv's stats, by the way. So let's see what we see. I don't know Staryu stats very well. I do. Uh, ooh, that's ooh, 90. Attack. Yeah. 97 is uh, 31 AV, possibly. So it's probably uh, like... Speed is really good. Special attack is a little on the low end. It's fine. Yeah, I know star me stats a it's, little better, but... It was what, like, what, 87? That's 45? Uh, the special attack? Yeah. It was 81. 81? Yeah. That's 45? Uh, Ion's... It was 19... at 44, it was, uh, 81. Yeah, I think it was like 84 or something, it's 45. And that's above 15 AV. IV. Again, again, I don't know exactly how good a star is until we actually get to the fight. Yeah, 125 uh, speed is... For, uh, 113 special at uh, 45. Yeah, that's like around 15 IV. A special attack. So that's fine. of getting the grind the final catch being the grimer and actually getting a bit of exp actually on the star me is fine because if something bad does happen in asha you don't need all that exp so do agree and catch i do agree on catching something after the star me if you if you need to I iron has a really good star interesting to see what ranges that these people will go to see. And interesting to see what risky strats some of these runners might choose to do later on. Personally, I'm a fan of the uh, 1P uh, Hydro Pump Ag Agatha strats, but you know. I mean, I went for it twice. I went for it two times and I got both times. So it must be 100% accurate, right? And and for the IVs, I think Iron, uh, Iron has like around 20 IV in special attack and uh, speed. In both, oh, so. Electrode did Thunderbolt to Stami, which is a bit annoying. Here comes the Magma. The Magma is actually running away from Sandy. So hopefully this is not too bad of a catch for Sandy. Does have one final Silver Raz, so... This does have to kind of get in, but hopefully double Ultra Ball plus Silver Rash should be fine. Waiting for the attack. If Magma can please attack, thank you very much. There we go. That should be in. Yeah, a trip can skip the heal bed. Yep. Because the Rapidash got uh, attacked. I mean, if your Stami's fast enough... Uh, that actually evolves Sandy's entire party. So, um, Sandy should be good to go now. Needs to put the uh, Grimer in the party. Uh, and Sandy should be good. Uh, Grimer, please get out the way, Farian. Please. Be kind of in the way, buddy. Yeah, that's an okay. annoying spawn. Oh, that marker almost got iron. So yeah, all the runners now going to grab us themselves a secret key because that is our gym requirement for Blaine. That rat almost got almost sniped Triv, but 
Heat seeking. Problem. Uh, Iron Leaves going into Blaine with 45 Pokemon. Which, you know, fine. Uh, Triv will actually go into Blaine with 47. So, while Iron is a slightly ahead in pop progression, Triv does have two extra Pokemon that doesn't have to evolve compared to Iron. And Sandy is actually catching up with the Pokemon. I don't think he's done downstairs yet. But he does have like forty five. Does have forty five caught as he's oh. evolving. I believe the final, not the final one. He does have tentacool in his party, but yeah. Sandy also they need to evolve the uh, the monk as well. Yeah. So uh, Sandy's still very go. much. They have yeah. they have all fifty catches now. Uh, so yeah. Scuff catch route, but uh, does get to the fifty requirement to enter Kogus gym. Well. Oh. Let's hope that they've actually all can count to 50 because uh, we had moments where sometimes you can't count to 50. It's a normal thing. Oh, we're about to, and I believe right now we're about to see how good uh, Sandy's uh, star is going to be. So, hopefully it's good. Again, I don't know. Stats. Uh, speed's a little low. 85, 83, and 45. Uh, yes. 83 is the lowest possible speed. Ooh. No, speed's and a little low, but special attack's pretty average. Yeah, that, that's above 15 IV. So that's will... Yeah. So it's 46, that means you... That probably means get, being outspat by the... At least the Rapidash and some other... Well, crit, crit flamethrower on iron side, but not no burn, so you're not going to be losing a bunch of time in this fight. Whereas, uh, Trip also, they both have to heal the full heal because they use the full heal to heal the confusion, but no burns for either of our runners in, in front. I do believe, I haven't remembered their speed, but I do believe both Iron and Triv does outspeed. Uh, do out one, yeah, easily. 113 speed ties the Ninetales will be outsped by the Rapidash. Yeah, but I do believe for both Iron and Triv, we will be outspeeding both. Oh yeah, they they used to be outspeed. Triv and Iron. Uh, Sandy, on the other hand, might underspeed both, which could be dangerous. Uh, does underspeed the Rapidash will tie the Nine Tails. Yeah. Okay, so we can expect probably like a flare blitz coming in. So. And that's why uh, Sandy went to forty six as well because of the bad speed. Yeah. Where Iron and Trevor are on 45. Maybe could pick up another rare candy um, and guarantee the outspeed on the Nine Tails. If you you could do that, but I think you're kind of in a race and you're already behind. I think you have to try and catch up as much as you can. I, like you're in a race scenario. You're in the very end. You're like you're far behind. I think now you're going to have to be in the scenario of you're going to have to play risks or just or if not, you're just going to be out of the tournament. Army actually uh, pretty good defenses there on this army. So I expect like you, I don't expect Sandy to pick up the red candy. I could be wrong, but Sandy probably knows that he is or that they are behind. So they'll, they will probably go get to uh we'll probably have to do risk start to do more risky strats like even like triv and iron they're very close behind it's like it still could be anyone's race because one faulty mistake from either triv or uh, actually both triv and iron can make sandy in the lead again so i mean and not even a mistake they're just there are a few fights coming up still that are you can just just lose time on it minutes in some cases but Without even that, dying. We have the hardest puzzle in all of Pokemon. I wonder how this game, I wonder how many tries it's going to take the, our, both of our runners to do it. Okay. Oh my god, Triff gets the first trash can on the first try? Surely she doesn't get the second one first try, right? Oh my god! Pumpkins. You've seen it here, people. By the way, uh, these trash cans are RNG manipulated. Definitely that, not... it's always said to this. Yeah, also there is a puzzle that it tells you, like... 
the first trash can is next to a blue trash can and the second switch is like below or like next to the blue like the, the first uh, switch but not next to a red trash can i mean come on red and blue and fire red and leaf green runners it's that easy it's always gonna it's always those two trash cans what are you on about anyway uh here's a gym fight uh we're doing a little bit of a scarlet and violet and uh, doing this gym fight way over level than we're supposed to do Yeah, if you do this fight uh, normally, um, in the order that the game intends, uh, this fight is like eight or nine turns. It's really miserable, so we come back at level 45 and just stomp Lieutenant Surge. Yeah, just scroll three times and actually gives us a pretty important TM in Thunderbolt, essentially giving us very good coverage, because in this game, uh, Psychic is really good coverage, because uh, Dark types are, well, non-existent, so we can just... Uh, use our good spam psychic and scald is also just a pretty good secondary typing and the one pokemon that we can't uh hit which is like psychic water types we have thunderbolt for so, yeah the slow the slow bros yeah the slow bros and which... uh, also there's one there's one pokemon left that we actually see in this run executor uh that's the one pokemon we have nothing for but We'll see how they handle that soon. Thankfully, we either have a horse or a bird to deal with that. And I don't think Triv is actually changing the party member. So might do Fire Blast Strats, whereas Iron has to do Fire Blast Strats. So that's we're gonna, we might be seeing two Fire Blasts today. I mean, I would expect Triv to like, then deposit the, the Rio. And she hasn't yeah, done that yet, so... Could switch, could like take the time to menu switch just to play it safe. Whereas uh, Sandy, I do believe, does have the bird, and also the mag. I don't think the magma is in the team, but does have the does have a Dodrio in party. So as long as it as long as I think it's already evolved. Yeah, yeah it's already Dodrio. Yeah, so can just play it safe with Dodrio. Here Depends on like I don't know. One, uh, the rapid dash is going to come out. This is going to outspeed Sandy. So, don't be bad. Uh, that should be fine um, damage. Uh, Ninetale, what can, what's the worst Ninetales can do? I, I actually uh, don't know. I got it. Yeah, I don't think no, Sandy's in any danger, and as long as Sandy wins the speed tie here, it doesn't matter. Win. Yeah, we See, won the speed tie, win. so it's irrelevant. See, you're fine. He's fi See, they're fine. They're fine. Yeah. That, that, that's not a problem. You, you always win speed ties. Except when you don't, but you don't talk about when you don't. You always talk about uh, there, there could be one more speed tie coming up for Sandy, but uh, for the majority of the rest of this run, um, Sandy's low speed is not going to matter. Yeah. Uh, we'll have low to see. Speed. There is a level up coming up for uh, the Starmie. Uh, it will be on the Archer fight um, or just before the Archer fight or during the Archer fight. Um, uh, Sandy will likely speed tie giovanni's persian uh, yeah 50 percent of the time but don't worry 50 percent of the time you win speed ties 100 percent of the time unless you're playing competitively then you then you uh then you always lose speed ties sure but no no losing a speed tie is just a skill issue I actually don't exactly agree with that, but don't tell anyone. Anyway, uh, Erica, uh, easy fight. Uh, psychic three times, you win the game. Or at least beat Erica. I don't think you actually teleport to Hall of Fame after psychicking three times. Okay, uh, you, no. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. You don't exactly win the game yet. You win the game after that, that you would, beat Champion. That would be something. You could get a bounty for that, you know? There's a bounty for Credit Warp, so I think. I mean, we could find a Credit Warp in this game. <laughs> yeah, sad sadly, surprisingly, Game Freak actually, develop actually ha develops their game to a well enough standard that breaking it is kind of hard, unless your name's BDSP. Yeah, if, but... what, is, what if Ilka made this game? If this Ilka game made this game, then we probably have <laughs> found a Credit Warp day one. That's my like biggest fear is that the Pokemon company announces Let's Go Johto, but it's made by Ilka. No, what do you mean? That's gonna be a great. That's gonna be great yeah. for speedrunners. We find a trick that that warps us to the end of the game. That's gonna be great. 
Yeah, I love glitches. Glitches in my game? BDSP was quite a quite a fun couple. Weeks. Now, I have a friend that exactly, might consider like... speak to glitches to be cheating because you hear we're not doing many glitches. We have good, clean gameplay. No glitches. Yeah. Glitches is cheating. That, those first few weeks in uh, BDSP, those first two weeks was great. It was amazing. Like, w waking up every morning and seeing oh. Yeah, that route you you worked on the on last night completely. I remember, uh, I remember staying up till like 4 a.m. and there being a Discord call in the PSR Discord with like there was like 70 people in the call. Yeah. Because <laughs> we like figured out. I don't remember what we figured out, but we beat the game in like 30 minutes, which wasn't even close to what the world record would end up being. <laughs> yeah, and then there was like you, you wake up the next morning and there's like a Japanese runner who found something. Yeah, too bad they decide to ruin the fun by introducing a patch. But yeah, I just never updated Brilliant Diamond, so I still yeah. I wasn't into speedrunning back then, so I can't do that. I can't do I, that anymore. I, 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 I never you... speedrun the game, but I also have a, a copy uh, on one of my switches that's not updated. For those of you that uh, go to some of the Pokemon events uh, that happen throughout the year, uh, World Championships, Internationals, Regionals, etc. Uh, if you want to be uh, Brilliant Diamond 1.1, just let me know and I will, I will bring my Switch and I will pass it to you locally. FYI, that's if you are going to Japan this year. If you're at least going to Japan this year, because... I am going to know. Japan this year. <laughs> I will be there uh, uh, moving in two weeks. All right, Triv actually does go for the safe strat, does switch Dodrio into the front of the party, and is going for the X attack drill peck. Yeah, this is the Gregidor is the only Pokemon Sarmie cannot hit for at least neutral damage, so we just use something else for this fight. On right. a little fact, depending on where you pick up the Dodrio, the drill peck is actually on a different slot. Yes. Yeah, if you grab it uh, just outside the guardhouse before Route 17, uh, it's in slot 3. If you grab it outside I the guardhouse... I hit the fire blast, by the way. Also, a little fun fact, if your special attack is good enough, you don't need the X special on the Charizard. Uh, no, I believe 123 special uh, is a... I think it's a 13 and 16, so... Yeah, 123 is 13 and 16. Or... Yeah, uh, but the, you... the fun fact is that at level 45, which these two are, the max... Special attack is 122, so you actually need IVs to get that. Uh, I think, no, I was 46 for this fight, not 45. Yeah. Because you just got 47. Alright, Triv, about to start uh, everyone's favorite fight in this game. Uh, Archer can still go to hell, by the way, uh, but aside from that... All, all my homies hate Archer. Um... Type 1 if you hate Archer. This is uh, arguably uh, one of the. This, Actually, this no. is this is a fight where you there is a chance that you die on this fight, but this fight also is difficult because it can just waste a lot of time. Um, this fight's scared. The electrode hits really hard. Right. Uh, the muck knows evasive. Uh, it knows minimize. Right. Thunder. Oh no, that's bad. That's not good. We do kill the muck right off the bat, though. So that's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, it's we like get boomerang, so that's good. It's most likely Electrode will go for self destruct next turn, but you have to heal. There's no, there's you can't just attack another turn. So Iron uh, does get the self destruct turn one, and gets the actually gets the best turn one possible, which is self destruct no protect. So, uh, yeah, Iron actually on pace here for Perfect Archer, uh, which is three turns. Oh, we just need the Cubone to cooperate. Wait. Ooh, Trip gets the good four turn fight, though. Because uh, Gradicate gets knocked out, so you have both the Weezing and the Golbat, and you just Psychic twice without seeing Sucker Punch animation. So, yeah, Trip does get the perfect four turn. Uh, let's see if Iron gets the three turn. So, Psychic Weezing. Yeah, Cubone, you have one job. For, for the people uh, new here, Archer to this fight, this was one of the fights we talked about yeah. earlier. It's a fight you can just lose a lot of time on. Um, so, this fight can go wrong. So still a chance for a three-turn Archer for Iron, but Radic, but this Cubo needs to pull away. It doesn't. It is attacking, so we need to see Boomerang and we need to see two crits. That is not two crits. 
Nope. So Iron is also getting a four turn fight, which arguably is technically slower than Trip's four turn fight because Radicate's always going for Sucker Punch, but it's fine. Still very good fights for both of our runners. Yeah, you're a happy way to four turn fight. Oh, we get to see the Tentacruel evolution. So for those who have not seen a shiny Tentacruel, here we are. I hope it's a good shiny. Nah, it looks the same. <laughs> it just, it looks the same as Tentacruel. Yeah, it's still a good shiny. Yeah, like a purplish eleven lavender blue. Yeah, if you're ever wondering green. what a Gen 1 shiny looks like and you don't feel like looking it up, uh, just imagine it in green. Uh, it's and, usually and, what, uh... and, and normally not a good green, but like a, yeah. a sick looking green. <laughs> like cute green or something. Yeah. So thankfully these next two fights for both Iron and Triv are pretty easy. It's just... Uh, you click the you, you you essentially psych you essentially just well for for Jesse and James you psychic wheezing can be a bit of a troll and thunderbolt and it can paralyze you really don't want to see the paralysis on the stami if it paralyzes the dodrio you're fine dodrio is actually what is actually what is better for this fight like having the dodrio or having the dodrio. Uh, oh for Repetish. Uh, J &J? yeah JJ. Repetish. You can use Stomp uh, and that can flinch. Fine. Um, Starmie pretty much hits everything, but I like having Dodrio just because you can do... Um, Drill Pack uh, will usually do enough to where you can use like Scald or Thunderbolt to take out the uh, the Weezing, so you can save a Psychic for the next fight, because I always Elixir after Koga. Yeah, I, I would say Dodrio, you have the chance of getting Thunderbolt on the Dodrio, which is better. You just yeah, save some healing. And, but the Rapid Ash can, uh, with Stomp, you can flinch the wheezing so then it doesn't even attack hot or oh, have a hot strat confuse ray magma more likelihood to stop attacking stop wheezing from attacking up uh, sandy forgetting to summon 2p on uh the uh blue fight no big deal uh you can just summon it in battle yeah so here we're gonna see pretty much the exact same strat as but as uh trev we're just going to X attack drill peck. And then we're going to X special into into scold. That way we can uh, one shot the char one shot the char. So we do have enough special X specials. If you don't actually have enough X specials for some whatever reason, uh pumps can um can try you can try and pump. I wouldn't recommend yeah, or, but... or or just scold and drill peck. That also works too. The Dodrio outspeed, so I would never pump there. Like, if you have Rapidash, then Stomp might be a bit. like, does less damage, but this Drill Pack with, with an X attack. Yeah, I guess you would just do that instead. Ooh. Sandy going for Tentacruel in the second slot. Uh, someone's gonna have to explain why, but sure. But, uh,. Expect, I, I'm, but, yeah. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. But yeah, Giovanni, but Giovanni's a pretty simple fight for both our run, for all of our runners. It's just going to be X special and press scold. Nothing else really complicated from that. Uh, Sandy about to go into Archer two. We all hate Archer two here, so hopefully we've seen two four turn archers. Let's hope we just see at the very least a third four turn archer. So or, gonna... or three turn. Well, three turns better, but again, we don't want to ask too much. So, what do we see here? No. Protect yeah, self you see the, uh This is pretty much like the standard fight where the muck protects and. Uh, right, this would be really clutch if. Yeah, if this would be really clutch if Cuba decided to go to focus energy, but nah. So we still want to take down the muck. Because Mach does have Minimize. We actually don't really care too much about the Weezing right now. Weezing does have something. I think it's Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. So or, hopefully. Uh, no, Dark Pulse. It's either Thunderbolt yeah. or Dark Pulse. Yeah, one or the other. Dark Pulse, that's what it is. Still think you're fine to take a Sucker Punch, but you probably will have to heal. Yeah, you So this is most likely you. a five turn Archer form for Sandy. 
if I have to predict, if I have to, if I have to have a prediction, is you have to heal the sucker punch. Oh, wheezing oh, protects, oh, and there's a cr oh, oh, oh no, no, not oh, like this. Scary. Lived on one though, so not like this. Not like this. There's a quick attack. There's a critical on the quick attack as well. Ah. Uh, uh, you definitely oh, take it. It's fine, actually, because the Sucker Punch shouldn't kill here, um, and we should kill the Raticate with Boomerang. This Raticate did just get two cricks in a row. Oh, and another the protect. Oh, this is a preview for everyone, and uh, not the next gym, but the gym after this. We'll see a lot more of this, sadly. Yeah, I just hope that um, Sandy doesn't get any more protects for the rest of the game. That would be nice. Rifle heating. Yeah, Sandy is now through uh, Archer. So. Yeah. Act, does he have enough, does, do they have enough psychics left? I hope so. Okay. Okay, they do. That's fine. Uh, Iron and Trev getting the rare candy, the Lapras and the Porygon for getting their 50. And hopefully they don't get kicked by Koga. Uh, there is no more bounty for that, but... They're also going to be doing some shopping. It'll be very interesting to see what kind of shop do they go for. So I'm going to be paying very close attention. Uh, Trev, I believe that is the risky shop. So no full heals. So 11 X defense. Let's see if she also buys X defend, which I know she yeah. didn't do yet. Oh, wait, no, this is the full heal shop. Never mind. Wait. No X special defense and no X defense. And no that's, uh, that's indication we'll be too seeing all of the uh, final fights in the game there. Yeah. Uh, well, Every... well, at, well, at least uh, uh, too seeing in Giovanni. She did pick up the X special defense, I think. She didn't. I don't think she bought any. She only bought X specials and X. Uh, X speeds. X speeds. I don't think she bought yeah, a single then, X special defense. Then it's the two C strats. So she will be two seeing strat everything. So Iron gonna be. Buying Hyper Potions, buying Max Repels. We'll be buying X Speeds, that's definitely required. We'll be buying the X Special Defenses. We have seen Iron bought the X Attack, X Defend earlier. So, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Also doesn't have the full, also did not buy the full heals either. Yeah, if you still have some, like, at least one of the, like, the, the pewter crunchies left. And it's fine. Surprised they didn't choose to just spend all of their money on X specials and actually choose to keep some of their money. Because if you wouldn't, you wouldn't buy the four heals, you just full send on X specials. Yeah, you can press like left or down to get yeah. max, but it's probably just like muscle memory in from the that full you don't heal to, buy. Yeah, if you do need the full heals. Yeah. Be interesting to see Trev essentially does not have will not go I at least I believe I, we can check right now but does not have any X special defenses or X defense so we'll be two peeing every single fight or well, every single like fight that you can't X special defenses for the rest of the game oh no does did not buy X speeds so she, she will have to go that's back to a, get them yeah that's a mistake and we'll hopefully. need to get X speeds. Yeah, hopefully uh, she recognizes the fact that she does have X special defenses and not X speeds. Yeah, because she would use one in this fight. She is very fast, so I'm not sure. I don't think you will outspeed the Alakazam, I don't think. Alakazam is still very... Like, yeah. I mean, he's a fast boy, but yeah, so she does choose to heal. And then, yeah, and then you're just going to have to do that you instead. Might... You might be able to get away with it in Eevee, but you are not going to be able to get away with it in Pikachu. Absolutely not. Uh, you have there's still a Jolteon, and that thing is a fast. Yeah, a that fast Jolteon boy. is very very fast. Uh... Even even in Eevee, I mean, you have to outspeed the Gengar, otherwise the Gengar will wreck you. Yeah, it's doable, but uh, very very difficult. Yeah, it, so... it, ha it happened twice this tournament that people outspeed yeah. the Gengar. 
So hopefully, uh, Triv will notice the lack of X speeds. I oh, think I'm, she, I'm, she yeah, she's aware. So we'll you have would, to go back one here to so. buy them. But yeah, I'm pretty sure she didn't want to buy X special defense, but now she has the option to at least 1p fights if Iron like catches up like crazy. Sandy finishing up the final Giovanni fight. Definitely not going to see him ever again. No, he's finished off with this. Yeah. yeah. He's going to be and Team Rocket. We're never going to see him ever again. Probably not. So, yeah. Trev does have to make this detour. Yeah, do it right now. We'll be buying. Yeah, so I'm gonna go I think you yes. just full spin on XP, right? And, and Trif should be happy that she didn't spend all her money on uh, X uh, special tax now. Yeah. That could have been awkward. So now she would have to sell stuff in the bag. I mean, you probably have stuff that you could sell. She has a full sale. Yeah, she just does have the fossils. So it's not going to be the end of the world. So yeah, here we're going to be seeing a lot of healing, a lot of item management, and depositing all our Pokemon with the exception of our Starmie and our Rapidash. The two Pokemon that we'll be taking for the most part. We'll then be going to 48 and to 49, where we can have a better indication. 49, 124, 138. This Starmie is fast. Still not enough to skip X speed, but this Starmie is fast. Yeah. Well, this starting would well. be fast enough to skip X, X speeds and EV. 126, um, 132 for Iron. At level 49. Uh, I, I, you, you still need AVs to be able to outspeed uh, Gengar. Oh, no, no, I was talking about the uh, the rival fight fight. Yeah, but I mean, it, yeah, that, but that's not the problem. Yeah, yeah that's no. not the problem. In Pika, in Pika, the only Pika, thing... you cannot skip X speed on that fight. You will die. Like, you will die like, immediately. Yeah. Like in Peak, well, it does go for Thunder, which can miss. But do you really want to risk a thirty percent chance to miss? Iron doing late teeth, so into the gym first. Right, yeah. Let's see if these runners did the thing correctly. All right, do they have fifty? Iron it's... does, and Trip does. Yes, uh, they can count to 50. Let's go! The most, the hardest that, thing to uh, do in this game. That right there was the last chance at seeing a shiny in the run, so um, only one shiny uh, for this run. Yeah, Iron. and so uh, this, if if Sandy also counted correctly, that means we still only have, what, two kicked by Kogas this, this tournament? I believe so. All right, how many protects are we going to see in this entire gym by all of our players? I'm going to guess, like, six total protects from everyone. It's pretty Which average. Sandy so. not buying X special defense either. Uh, Boom blast. Special attack drop. I had no. Oh, wow. <laughs> they both got special attack drop. Yeah, that is uh, it's fine. Quite unfortunate. Uh, normally, if you don't get your special attack drop there, you can go for Scald on this Beedrill. Uh, unfortunately, you will have to use a Psychic. That's not great because we want to keep our Psychic number pretty high for this gym. Yeah, uh, but that it, it's. I think it's the just... special attacks on these Mon are fairly high. Can, might, might be able to go for some ranges on Koga. Yeah, it's just very. It's just. It was just very shocking that both, uh, both both mocks went for Moonblast. And they on turn one, and they both got uh, X. They both got Moonblast drop, and they also got no protect on that B drill. Like these two fights are going very similar to each other. According to uh, New Ember in chat, uh, Iron is twenty six seconds behind Trip, so that's very close. Yeah. So. This gym can go pretty mad. If we, if we see a Saturday Beach, we can see a lot of Protects. So hopefully we see Protects. Ideally on this Weezing, just turn one and uh, no other for time. So X Special. Oh, we get the Toxic on uh, Iron side. That's just, that is a shame. But we do see this Protect, so it's fine. Yeah, the turn two. Oh, Hydro Pump. Oh, Hydro Pump. Going for the Pump. <laughs> 
Great. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure if that was a miss input or not, but uh, is going went for the. Uh, one protect work. on Triv, wasting one turn. Well, uh, one protect Same. on Iron, wasting one turn. That's uh, fine. Uh, you can go scold. I learned that the other day. Another protect yeah, on Golbat. Or Thunderbolt. The Golbat. Or Thunderbolt. Another protect on Golbat, so that's uh, one on Venomoth, one on Golbat. Like wasted turns. And then oh. Mark is T. Uh, what's the tentacle doing? Oh, I see what we did here. Hydro Pump Alakazam, okay, that's not. No, so Sandy went for um, uh, X Attack. Poison Jab to one-shot the Mr. Mime. Ha. Huh. That's an interesting strat. I see. That's what the tentacle was. And then you still have to risk Hydra Pump on Alakazam, but you know, that's fine. Which is exactly what he went for. They went for. Sorry. Not bad. Yeah, so now uh, Sandy uh, set to finish up this fight here. Uh, they will be uh, taking out Sabrina. A very interesting stat strat there, actually. Uh, it does allow the light screen skip. A uh, bit slow, because uh, you, you're not faster than the... Uh... Oh, so close uh, to being able to take out the Jinx there. Ooh, I mean, to go for Thunderbolt. You go Awakening. I mean, I don't see why you need to go for Awakening on Lapras, but whatever. Uh, you can use uh, Lapras uh, later for uh, the Elite Four strats. So you oh my, oh yeah, the there's the, the wacky E4 strats that some people go for. But at this point, like you're so far behind the Sandy. is like, do you really go for 2P strats on E4? If you're uh, that they are safer. Um, so they are safer, but wrong. as Sandy... I don't think you win playing safe. Like, you absolutely do not win playing safe at this point. I, I, mean, I mean, Sandy might be going for a PB, if that's still possible. Yep. Oh, that is true. Like, if you are going for PB, you could just play it safe instead of going for a race. I guess it depends, like, what your what your goal is. Basically, anything can happen as well. Uh, and I, I posted a clip in the Discord of me being a minute ahead of PB and then just getting the worst Agatha fight humanly possible. What, crunch turn one defense drop? Uh, no, I got paralyzed four times in the fight. Oh. <laughs> I mean, crunch turn one defense drop is still bad. No, you instantly die there, but uh, that that means the fight is over and it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's, fa uh, that's false. I was actually able to. Uh... Uh, Sandy, 122, 127. Sorry, 122 speed, 127 special attack. I should say. Yeah, that's really bad speed. Oh, that is also true. Like, they are guaranteed top 10 in the tournament if you just finish this race. So at least that's a nice thing to see. Because people aren't, uh, so there's so now we... to not DNF in this race. So now we finally find out, uh, or we'll find out who the mysterious uh, gym leader in Feridian Town is. We still is. don't know yet. That's still uh, spoilers. Uh, do not hit the, 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 the dash panel yet, because if you do, uh, you're going to have to fight three uh, three optional trainers. Two, I think. I think. Uh, That's who I think it is. That's why he's just been... Hanging out in Pallet Town. I think he's the eighth gym leader. All right, so here in Neo Reno, you can actually psychic the right horn if you don't think you're gonna go for uh psychic strat. I will probably see we'll probably definitely see Triv go for I'm assuming 2P Samuel. Oh yeah, uh, definitely. We could see Iron go for 1P because Hydro Pump to KO. Nido King is not that bad. Of course, the worst part of it is risk is actually getting the accuracy, but yeah, yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting to see. Tri Triff could go for uh, Psychic and Stomp 
on the Needle King? I don't remember her special attack. I think it was high enough. Alright, uh... That will see. Uh, going for Scald X is X special, okay. Yeah. Probably not good enough. So here, B drill doesn't go for protect either. Three, three B drills not going for protect. That's a that's a first I've ever seen. Maybe they updated the game and it no longer has protect. That'd be great. There we go. I am also going for the two P strat on Samuel. Probably don't yeah, want to I risk mean, the item up yet. This this is not the fight where you risk it on. I mean, Iron did risk Hydro Pump on the Weezing. So. Yeah, but that was. Probably a misclick. Okay. That's fine. So, is going for Psychic Stomp. Or just get the crit anyway. Who. <laughs> Should have went for 1P. Just get the crit anyway. Just 1P Psychic. What can go wrong? Sandy starting the Koga fight. All right. Hopefully for Sandy, they get very few protects. Turn one protect. protect turn one is good. It's Giovanni. Giovanni oh no! Oh my God. Giovanni oh, no. is the final gym leader. No way. Anyway, uh, Triv is actually going to go for the 2P strat. Uh, you'd rather see the with a 2P strat. Uh, the goal is simple, X special the Stami and attack. Doug Trio will go first and will use Earthquake. You are hoping to have the Rapidash get knocked out in this turn. Ideally. It is very likely. Sandy yeah, went then. for a 13 and 16 on the, uh, the goal on the, uh, Venom off there with the Scald. As this gold bat still protecting. And Iron is also going for the 2P strat as well. So does have the X defense, but does not but decide not to um, do the strat no not to do the 1P strap, Giovanni. Uh can I ask you, Crisis, uh, since you have the, the spoiler log for this race, is Giovanni always the gym leader here or Yes, Giovanni is always the gym leader here. That is the script. Okay. Triv hitting level 50, uh, 130, yeah. did not see the speed, but 142. Yeah, so she can skip, uh, she can skip the X, uh, I don't know, not, not on, not on Pikachu. Not on Pikachu, you can skip that. Nope, uh, it was more for the, uh, the range on the Dragonite, so, uh, I think Triv Yeah, she, she, she will be fine. Range. Uh, Iron is going to get the level up here, and we'll be seeing the stats for his stuff. Oh, actually, no, wait, one more. Next next mod. A next mod, next mod. What? I'm one turn too early. Not the Neo King, it's after the ride on. And then here we'll see uh, Stami stats. It is 131, 131 135. So... Triv, uh, Triv, it's going to be uh, close on the start on the Dragonite range. Uh, Iron, it'll be close, but Iron should clear the threshold. Yeah. So both, both, both Triv and Iron have a pretty easy time against uh, Giovanni as they do choose to go for the safest of strats, which is just two P. Does actually require them to do a lot of healing in the next menu. Like, you actually have to use one of your revives on the Rapidash, but at least you can do that. Uh, Triv talks to Blue a little bit. Once yeah, I, you know, friendly conversation find, with Blue. Yeah, what I find very interesting is that Blue says, oh, what a shock that Giovanni is the gym leader. But we know that Blue has also beaten this gym leader not that long ago. So was it another gym leader or did he simply forget it was Giovanni or... Uh, fun little fact, when you go out of this gym, there's actually a mind wipe device, so you forget who the gym leader is. Uh-huh. So, it's now not active anymore, but it's, it was. We're also starting the final rival fight here. Yeah. 
Uh, do remember, this is not Gen 8. You do need to X speed on turn 2. Dynamic speed is not a feature yet. If you don't, we do uh... To, we do need to outspeed this Jolteon that's coming up. Yeah. Ideally, you want to see the plume. Ah, yes. You do, ideally do want to see the plume, because if you do see the plume turn 2, you can actually, uh, psychic the Marowak later, which, you know, saves super effective text boxes and all that. Uh, it's not the end of the world if you see the Marowak second, you just have to scold and then do more inputs. It's a bit, it's a bit slower. But, the fight's pretty simple. You use, uh, you just stack a bunch of X items on, um, on Stormy, and then just, uh, sweep. You always X special turn one, because Jolteon will never be sent out second. You then either X speed, you X speed turn two, because Jolteon could be sent out third, and then you do the thing. In this case, Jolteon got sent out fourth, because AI is a little bit weird. It doesn't know what to do when there's, like, two Pokemon, so, like, it picks one to hit super effective, or it picks the other one, so... Typically, you'll see the Marowak come out if it chooses to target the Rapidash for super effective instead of the Stami. Iron uh, running low on Psychic, so it has to Scold. Yeah, you do you need, need one more Psychic. Yep. There's after one this. After this. Sandy. It is, uh, it's night. It's not, it is Naomi. Uh, Sandy, Sandy is trying to go for, for the One Piece Castle. Samuel. One C Samuel. So this, this fight is easy. Just Hydro Pump. There's, there's nothing complicated. There's nothing wrong with Hydro Pumps, right? Also, getting Edda Ratios. Ready with Ratios. <laughs> right? You just Hydro Pump. There's nothing wrong. See? Easy. 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 Hydro Pump's 100% accurate. What are you on about? Well, it's a range. And he hit the range anyway. So what are ranges? Anyway, as a... Uh... Sandy gonna like do the whole the whole uh, Giovanni gym thing. Uh, Trev is about to enter Elite Four, and I have just one uh, not Elite Four Victory Road. Victory Road. I just have one very simple question. Two P one P Naomi. Two. No, probably not. She is in the lead, so she does yeah, not have. Maybe, to... maybe Iron goes for it, but take that gamma. Iron might. Who knows? Even then, I, I might think... go for that gamble. Depends. Like, one of, if you want to start, if you want to get closer to winning that race, you kind of have to start considering some of these uh, gamble strats. Iron made to see it if they are in PVKs. That is true. You could also. Yeah, there's, there's 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 still battles like I mean, Caroline has gone wrong for plenty of runners this tournament. Many a yeah, race so has been decided on Caroline that was close like this. Yep. There is also like this thing where Oh you just hit okay she okay she hit See Triv you hit the pump you don't need you don't need the, the rapid dash there. Oh final little fact about this Venusaur if you do not have plus two psychic will not kill. Don't ask how I know this. Just fire blast. Don't ask exactly how I know that information. Iron Blast. Iron uh, does go for 2P Naomi. So, won't be taking that risk, but might be taking some others. Who knows? Uh, Triv goes through that uh, trainer pretty nicely. It, I learned the other day that it doesn't actually have that much vision looking down, so you can just yeah. walk forward. You don't have to wait. Don't be a me and wait. Only if it's looking left, you can't pass it. Yeah. Yeah, but it's looking down, you're fine. Uh, this juggler, it's not that... It can be a bit trolly if it decides, like, hypnosis and put you to sleep multiple times, because you can't actually, uh... Because X, because even with an X special, unless you're going for Hydro Pump, you can't actually, uh, one-hit KO the Hypno, and even then you need, like, a really good special attack to one-hit KO the Hypno of Hydro Pump. I'm Iron pretty sure most... The, uh, technically optimal version of the Naomi fight where Naomi kills the Rapidash so you don't have to dismiss second player after the fight. Nice. Ooh, th yeah, Thunderbolt not getting the, quite the KO, so if you just Skull. 
and you're fine. Oh, not getting like enough damage from the two at KO, so you just have the gold instead. And then Slowbro, you just uh, Thunderbolt because uh, there are so many Slowbros in the end of the game. Yep. It's like they knew that Stami was actually the best Pokemon, so they put the. Yep. And then they forgot they have Thunderbolt as it's the end. And it learns yeah, so. Thunderbolt, so. Yeah. I, I like I, he... I if you replace them all with like executors, what would their route be? Like things would change. I'm not sure Starmie would be the best. No. Starmie would be like, yeah, no. Still probably catch it, but no. We probably yeah, have to go might, back to that first. You might Maybe. like I don't know, like still use uh, Dodrio and X attacks for those or something. Yeah, so Triv now playing push the boulder. Because uh, we have to actually press A on every boulder. Sandy about to go do their rival fight, which is pretty much just should be fine. I don't think there's a is there, there isn't there like a speed issue potentially with the Pidgeot if you're like really slow speed, or am I just being stupid? Yes. Okay. And uh, the, uh, the, 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 wait, Trip doing the most important skip in the in the game. Okay. You can't fail that. And now it's let Caroline decide who wins the game, I suppose. Yeah, at least they're heading the Colby skip. So, yeah, Triv now gonna go into Caroline. Let's see what Caroline does. The next special, and hopefully it's not Trolley. Lovely kiss. Nice, we get put to sleep. That's not great. Ice Beam. Ice nope. Beam, no freeze. Now, do we see if Hydro Pump hits? It does. Easy okay. game. Okay, what do you so mean, not... if, it, if it hits? You said it was 100% accurate. Uh, it is, but uh, did you know that Stami has an accuracy step that the game doesn't tell you about? No. 132 special. Uh, Triv might be very close on the Dragonite range. Yeah. Uh, most. Clear it. Wait, I needs to do the thing. He does yeah, the thing. And Iron gets Colby skin. Good. Yeah, yeah, good job. And now let's see uh, how much time does Iron lose to Caroline as well. So... Triv just has the small issue of... Just had the small issue of Lovely Kiss. Hopefully uh, Iron doesn't have nearly the same, is nearly the same uh, issues. Nope. Never mind, you also commentator's curse. Whoops, ice beam. Oh no, it's the exact uh, wait, it's the exact same fight. And hit, yeah, you have the exact same fight. I do think that with this like difference between the two, that if Drift goes for like the safety to controller strats, she should be far enough ahead to beat Iron. Uh. I guess it depends on like the special attacks, like depending on how many turns, uh, tr like how many turns, like oh, I mean, there's always there's a few uh, there's a few ways how Iron could potentially make it back, even with like if Triv goes for full two P strats. Because... I mean, for for Agatha, Lance, and Champ, those like the two C strats, um, there was like a lot of timing done on it, and it's really like if you don't. Pick up the full restore and like don't buy the items. You save enough time, basically. Oh, nice power whip dodge, actually. Well, on, on trip side, doesn't actually then need to heal for at least uh uh for what do I like? Lorelei, like, that that that's the one. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, Triv probably can play safe. It depends on how risky Iron really wants to go. If Iron wants to go like super risky and go for like, you know, Hydro Pump Agatha and 1P everything, there might be a chance, but. I, I think it's still not enough. I There's... think Iron probably will accept that and will go for instead PB, which I do not know what it is, but 
I believe he is on PB pace, so he might do, do that. Triv still picks up the forest door, so because of the... Yeah, so can still go for 1P Agatha if she wants, instead of 2P mm -hmm. Agatha. Agatha, or uh, Triv on the 306 pace. It's normally about 14 minutes to beat the E4 from this point. Yeah, 306 is, like, very... Uh, very, very, very good. But at least we're happy that we don't have a DNF in this race. That's, like, really nice. Yeah, All three of our races still pretty much a very good, like, really close together. So it's not, it's not like it's too far behind. Like, yes, yeah, Sandy's, like, in the beginning of the Elite, in the victory. Ooh, that was close. But, uh, it is... At least, uh, at least, like they're all like relatively close by, and I do believe like maybe they can all do under three ten. Maybe, maybe I actually don't know how far behind Sandy is, but it's gonna be close for Sandy. But Trev is gonna go on yeah. Lolli. The only difference is if you're gonna play it safe, you just X special up to six times. If you're gonna play it risky, you're going to X special only four and go for whatever range it is on a Lapras and a. Jinx. Maybe I actually we... did not check if Iron picked up the forest or. Maybe we do see uh, Sandy go for uh, something uh, special. I'm not sure if he's uh, prepared anything, but. Yeah, Trip does go for plus six. But, but, uh, Sandy might uh, do uh, show up, show up some uh, skips, and then still talk to the trainer afterwards. Iron did get the forest or. Thank, thank, thank you, Maka. Uh, so, Triv does go, does have to a rapid dash over, to be fair, with the power up miss, you don't have to deposit. Uh, Iron does have to heal the Stami because power up did not miss, and is still choosing to keep rapid dash in the party, so is giving himself, is giving himself the, uh, at least the ability to 2C Agatha, Lance, and Champ, although he actually doesn't do to see Agatha, so he will be uh, at least at the very least doing to see Lance and to see Champ if he chooses to do so. Uh, we're also gonna see if uh, Iron's gonna go for plus two or sorry, not plus two, plus four, or plus six. It'll be interesting to see. Trip did go for plus six. We might see plus two. Also, Trip does have to heal because I'm pretty sure Trip is in. Earthquake range. Yeah. Uh, it does go for plus six. So, you can try and risk it with, uh, actually, no. I believe BE4 has smart enough AI that if they see a kill, they'll go for it. Yeah, and at that HP, even with, the, even with the best uh, defense uh, star, you still die. Yeah. So, the fight with uh, Bruno is pretty simple. X special, Psychic, Scold. Scold, then Psychic Sweep. Uh, Sandy, get that, 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 please, Sandy. A little bit more. Yay. There we go. <laughs> Does get the skip. Yeah, we don't talk about Bruno, so. I, w I was about to start singing that song, but then I didn't want to give uh, this... Uh, Pokemon speedruns uh, a copyright strike. And Sandy also skipping Colby. Three out of three Colby skips. You love to see it. How far behind are you guys on my feed? Like, I've seen that he's now on Jinx, but whatever. No, they are now on yeah. Jinx, but... Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah, everyone gets the skip, no, which not, is nice. No, no, no not, not... The diff different skip. Not Alexa. Oh. Yeah, so uh, the trainer next to uh, next to Caroline, his name oh. is Colby, and uh, ever since Etchy tried to talk to Caroline and talk to Colby instead. Uh, oh, all right, all right. I'm, again, I'm new to this. I'm kind of new to this game. That's still my excuse. Yeah, yeah. Reno, Colby Reno, is, uh... I was talking about uh, Colby skip. Yeah, Colby. Oh, okay. I got a I got a PB once uh, fighting Colby. It was miserable. Yeah, he has four Pokemon and. They the suck. first one is Electrode. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did Sandy just go Hydro Pump? Uh, some things that I didn't see. 
Apparently, Sandy says 303 of three is hydros. Uh, Sandy's hit three of three hydro pumps in the run so far. So no hydro misses. Um, I don't think Sandy's going to end up having a hydro pump at anything else in the run unless Sandy wants to go for no turnarounds on Agatha. Yeah, show off. Yeah, show off. You know, I did it twice. I didn't see any repercussions. All right, you're starting the Agatha fight. All right, so let's go race Discord and want an example of how bad this fight can go. Uh, there is a clip. In there. Uh, that's not the that's not the that's not the bad fight. This is the good fight. X special glare into power of love. Turn one. Uh, this is actually exactly how my terrible Agatha fight started yesterday. Oh. Yeah, I I wouldn't say this is the good sir. Yeah, you want you want power of love turn two. All right. Because this X goes thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. No power. Still just as good. So yeah, that's a pretty good Agatha fight for Starmie. No wasted, no real wasted turns. As uh, Power Love, I believe, is ten percent. I might be wrong on that. I think it's higher at this point. It depends Again. on how high your friendship is. Yeah, again, I don't run this game, so I wouldn't know. But anyway, uh, that's actually that's why I have oh, I have never had to use a full restore for like the last ten times I've done Agatha. That explains why. So X special attack crunch turn one. Oh boy, that's not good. So thankfully, it's just crunch, no defense drop, but does actually need to heal here, and does need to set up an X speed. So it is it's not great seeing Crunch turn one. You'd yeah, rather... now you need to now you need to heal X special defense, X speed. Oh, you... Yeah. Chose X the special defense first and then heal. Not the worst decision either. But yeah, this yeah, crunch turn one is still not something you want to see. It is very rare that you see Oh, that's even worse. Oh, this fight is going well. At least you still have the full restore, so at least it's not the worst thing in the world. And power oh, of love. Power Never love. mind, power of love. I forgot about that mechanic. And I hope that. Through, uh... Agatha. Iron through Agatha. I, I hope. Start the Elite Four. I hope T Pet is uh, noting down all these uh, power of love. Yep. For the stats. So, would you see Triv go for the uh, just safe strat? Or is actually just opting just to straight up 2P this fight, not using any of the X. X X uh, special defenses, just going for X speed. Uh, we do see Sandy adding the Lapras into the into the party, so we will be seeing Lapras strats. So that's gonna be fun later on. But Lance, pretty simple fight. If you're doing two P, turn one, you set up an X speed, and then with just the one controller, and then after the first turn, you then bring out the second controller. You bring out the Rapidash. And then you essentially X special attack the next three turns. Essentially just sweep the inter set up and sweep every single turn. And we do see the ether. It is very important you click ether on psychic. If you don't, uh your run dies. That's uh, a fun thing. Uh Starmie goes to level 53. Let's see the special attack. 138. Uh, that is a 15 and 16 on the Dragonite, but we have the Rapidash out, so uh, Psychic Stomp uh, should get the KO. Yep. Yeah. Rapidash naturally outspeeding the Dragonite. Well, at least it's not a Terra Normal E Speed Dragonite. That would have been scary. Uh, I am actually choosing to go for the One Piece strat. The Hyper Beam turn one does miss, which is nice. So X Speed gets the Dragon Pulse, a crit Dragon Pulse, that's not as nice. Uh, so one X Special on Iron, we see the Hyper Beam. Does have to heal, I believe you are in Hyper Beam KO range. Or are you not? You are not, okay, he's not, so. Okay, does go for anyway. Hydro Pulse. So he does live. Hopefully, I do believe Iron's special attack on Starmie is slightly better. 
it than should clear the Dragonite. Um, so, uh, Irons was one point higher than Triv's uh, at the, the last level up, so uh, should hit 139 here. All right, we'll Which see after 50. the Gyarados. Which is 15 out of 16. You know, still be a 15 out of 16 range, except unlike Triv, uh, Iron does not have the Rapidash out, so... No, Iron should have 139 here. So, 53 yeah. special yeah. attack is oh, 141, 141, actually. So oh, that's... that's... Just, just in there, so. You do need... You need 140. For uh, the... Is it 140 for the KO? I thought it was 139. Yeah. According to my notes, it's 140. Well, it doesn't matter because not because it's 141 and that's pretty much guaranteed. So Dragonite does not you don't have to worry oh, yeah, about yeah, the Dragonite right. range it's, it's because there is no range. It's, it's 139 for 15 and 16. Let's see if Iron chooses to also two seat champ versus one seat champ. I think he is actually two seeing the champ, so just one seeing lands. As Triv is finally on the champion fight. Uh, you want to see, does the Pidgeot attack the, the no it doesn't. I was say, does the Pidgeot attack the, uh, the Starmie? It does not. Uh, Sandy should also clear the Dragonite range. Uh, Sandy's 138, uh, at the Bruno level up, so Sandy will clear yes, the I'm Dragonite pretty sure we might be seeing some Lapras strats, though, which will be interesting. So, yeah. Ideally, you do want the Rapidash to K be KO'd. Because if it's not KO'd, you are gonna have to waste a little bit of time. Uh, yeah, but I, it's it's. I think it's like somewhat unlikely to die. The rapid dash is too bulky. Actually, no. I think was it Triv that caught the super sized magma, and this rapid dash is actually a bit more over level than it's supposed to be. So I don't think rapid dash is supposed to be forty seven by this point. No. But even without it, it's like... Tri Trim did get the, uh, the Wombo Magmar. Yeah. So, yeah, because Iron's, uh, thing is 45, so... Oh, is it 40? Yeah, it's 45, so that's actually two levels higher than it's supposed to be, so... Pidgeot, you have one job. It's called Air Slash the Rapidash. And, and crit. No, not crit. Just Air Slash it enough so that it's in quick attack range. Or just miss. That works. Well, not really. Actually, no, it doesn't. That's still as bad as just hitting us. Actually, it's not as bad as hitting the Starmie. It's just not ideal. But anyway, Triv takes down the Slowbro. And that means it's... Uh... Oh, we're still on Marowak. Never mind. Wait. Okay, Marowak's the last one. All right, let me try and do the whole triumphant thing one more time. Uh, Triv finally takes down the Marowak. And that is the final Pokemon... Thus ending the speed, uh, uh, almost ending the speed run. Does have to go to do the Hall of Fame, and after that, that is it. This will be what a three hundred six for Triv. Yep. Three hundred six. Pretty good. T very respectable time in this tournament. I am gonna just going right behind. I think this will be like a three oh, at least a three oh eight for Iron, right? Might be a three oh seven. Yeah, this is gonna be like a mid three oh seven. So that will actually definitely be a PB for Iron. Which is like hype. But yeah, this is like don't underestimate this is a very close race. Uh what's happening in Sandy's screen? Why is the Starmie at one? Why is this Gengar burned? I believe Skald did not pick up the KO. So when you're doing the 2C strats on Agatha, you can uh go for kind of Scalds. Um, but uh, Sandy's special attack just a little uh, too low to get the guarantee the KO there, so. Uh... Yeah, maybe not like having enough. Like, you, st you, you do need, like, I think the plus six uh, special attack for that. Yeah, yeah I got distracted for about. Maybe through, through uh, <laughs> Agatha. But yeah, that is. Well, no, not yet. Still has the Golbat. And, and I'm again, pretty sure there was. I have no idea a... about Lapras Dash. This is still very new to me. And I'm pretty sure there was there was a power of love uh, survive on uh, on Sandy because I speak from experience that Gengar will kill you. Yep. Yep. I and also just finished the champion fight, so all I have to do is just mash a few more text boxes, and we will be at they will he will be uh, done. And so I see Sandy, we are. 
at Iron uh, on 307 pace, so about a about a one minute PB for Iron. And nice. I see we're and... we're joined by Triff already. Yes. Hello. Congratulations, Triff. Welcome. Yeah. In. Congrats. Thank Congratulations. you. Thank you. This this run has continued the trend for my tournament runs of each one feeling like the worst run of my life, but somehow still being okay. Uh, let's just say that if I had forgotten to buy the X speeds, then this would have been a 305. <laughs> yeah. I think that's yeah. like maybe like the two biggest mistakes was not buying the X speeds and yeah. not the busting before the Magmar. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess and I also uh, have, hitting uh, Vermilion skip, uh, not hitting Vermilion skip. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, uh, that was a lot that went wrong in this run, but uh, the Cubone hadn't evolved yet. That was why I didn't want to deposit. Uh, so the 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 Marowak would have still gained like three extra levels, or I would have had to deposit and then withdraw again. Um, I really wish I had just seen the Grimer first to get the Cubone evolved, and then that would have been. A lot easier to manage, but oh well. Can't choose what you get in this game. Yeah, this is this is a game where it's like, oh, we're just gonna give you stuff. Deal with it. Yeah. And we also have Iron also joining us in the in the commentary booth. Uh, GG's to you. I believe that is a one minute PB for you, right? Uh, forty seconds. 40 seconds still oh, a pb is a pb and we always yeah. take those yeah the one the one thing i'm kind of a disappointed about is i wasn't local recording <laughs> oh no okay so uh that's not gonna be a leaderboard eligible uh, um that's unfortunate but uh the, yeah that, the, was, that the... was a that was an interesting run definitely <laughs> <laughs> the the stream was pretty uh constant for all of you so we didn't have oh, a lot of stutter. Who knows? knows? It depends know on what lean be there for a minute, um, but uh, I don't think anybody else did. Yeah. So, and... Iron, uh, what do you think uh, about your run? Uh, it was pretty good. I think um, I had some. I had a pretty rough route six. Um, didn't get Abra or Growlithe until the very end after I caught. Pidgey, and also the Pidgey I caught on Route 6, I had already caught a Pidgey, so I, had, I caught two Pidgeys. Uh, and then the second one the second one ended up evolving <laughs> no. into Pidgeotto, so that was fine, but that was just a wasted catch, because I could I was initially planning to do Pidgeotto into Pidgeot, but then I didn't get Little Rat, so that was fine. Uh, and then I ended up getting Gr Abra, so I switched into that from Growlithe, because I used Growlithe on the Boat Rival, so that was interesting. I also teleported on the Sanchu fight, so that the fight was incredibly dumb. I'm completely fat fingered misclicked whatever you want to call it uh so that was horrible uh, so that was why you had the oddish uh, yeah. cleaning up there yeah uh that was i could have swapped cadabra in but there's no point and then route 10 and rock tunnel was extremely good um not uh, not uh upset about those at all i was able to skip a few catches because i caught a bunch of extra stuff early i, I got an onyx and moon uh, i never go for it unless it, it hits me so I was like, well, I just I guess I'll catch it. <laughs> I did that. But uh, my absolute favorite was Shiny Tentacool. I'm, I was yeah, super, I super that. stoked to get that. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Uh, the end yeah, game was that... yeah, the end game was awful too. Like Victory Road was trash. Um, and then uh, Agatha was also bad. Crunch turn one, two runs in a row. I've not gotten that in a long time before yesterday. Uh, how close were you like were you like aware how close you were with Frit? Um, I know leaving, entering Yusha, I was about 30 seconds behind Triv. Um, yeah. Well, I was going to kind of wait and see how things went moving forward with, with her run before I decide whether to risk it, especially because I was also on PvP, so I had to keep that in mind as well. Um, but if it was a bit closer, I would have I would have maybe taken a couple more chances. But I kind of played as risky as I could have in the Elite Four, other than maybe going 1C for champ. And of course... Um, Rapidash never dies on 2C champ for me, ever, so... Same. That was sad, <laughs> but, uh, over on Sandy's screen, uh, we just saw the entire reason why you use Lapras there. Uh, it is almost guaranteed to die on, uh, champ if you get hit with Hyper Beam and just heal it in the Lance fight. Uh, Air Slash Quick Attack will always kill it, um, if you're at, like, a certain HP percentage. So it ends up working out kind of perfectly. 
Yeah, that was, um, that's a really cool strat. I, I was thinking about asking Dynam and, and Sandy for those strats for the race, but I was like, you know, I, I just want to stick with what I'm comfortable with, uh, even though Rapidash sucks against Champ, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious to know what happened with Sandy. I, I heard Sandy didn't get Growlithe. Uh, Sandy did not. Uh, Sam Sandy gambled on no Growlithe spawn, and it uh, did not pay off. And then they yes. also had an optional in Rock Tunnel, I think, right? Yes. Yeah, Sandy had uh, a really bad optional with a G with a Onyx on the first one. I forgot what the second one was, but Sand it was slash. not good. Sand Slash. Oh, yeah. wow. oh, I think I might have hit that one before. I'm not sure. There's one optional I've hit before, which wasn't too bad. I think I ended up just doing double kick strats with Helping Hand, and it was fine. But oh, that's what Sandy and, did. Sand Slash would be awful, for sure. But yeah, uh, Sandy just finally, but finally beat the champ champion and is about to claim. I'm going to assume is a thirteen something in this ra in this race, which is yeah, also um, still high three thirteen, low three fourteen. Still be very ninth, respectable time. Will be ninth place in the tournament overall, if I'm not mistaken. Ten. Yeah, if yeah. people don't fit, if people don't finish, I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm so fun when everyone finishes race time. Yeah, I'm. I'm so happy to see all of you actually finish the run. Yeah, I was. I was gonna finish no matter what, unless I died in the elite four, because um, I wasn't planning on saving anyway. But I was not gonna uh, forfeit early for sure. Well, we're joined by Sandy, uh, third place. Congratulations, Sandy. Thanks. I think this is my worst run of the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, no. uh, we did oh, no. get to see the perfect Lapras, though. Yeah, I saved 30 seconds on PB, which also did Lapras with Lapras Living, so I think it's actually really good. Yeah, that shot's so cool. So, I, uh, I just looked seconds. it up, Sandy. Sorry that I'm interrupting here. Uh, your run, this round is two seconds faster than your round one run. Oh, that's Go. so good. <laughs> um... Congrats, Triv, on the wing. Uh, good luck Thank in you. the next round. Iron, congrats on the PB, I think. Yes, that was a PB, although I did wasn't local recording. Oh. Yeah, so unless... unless I don't think it's it can be accepted as a... on the leaderboard. Oh, that's just, annoying. You took, uh, took Etchie's world spot, record, but... so... He was local recording. Oh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I... I, like, I don't know what happened. I saw I was, like, a minute behind at Route six, and I saw you guys were struggling with like getting a dog, and I was like, I just need to go and hope they don't get dogs. And then had but flinched the sand shrew, and it didn't work, so mm. it just well, fell apart from there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you were really zooming past, like, you, you weren't waiting for catches, you were like, okay, I, I yeah. have to go for things, like, yeah, I just I don't know where how I got a minute behind at like, um. Brock, but I did, and I couldn't figure out a way to get back, so that was just it. Uh, we're a little, right. a little bit worried on the catch route that you had there, but uh, it all ended up working out at the end. Yeah, yeah. Did, did Trip, did you have you had trouble with the dog too, right? Yeah, I had to uh, re reset spawns with a guardhouse, but then I got. Uh, both an Abra and a dog to show up after I already caught a Jigglypuff on the first time out. But it took me a while in combination with uh, hitting one of the Vermillion skip trainers, uh, Rod 6. Oh, yeah. It was still pretty slow for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had an interesting run. That Speaking of that slow, skip, uh... your star, when it showed up, that took a while. Oh, yeah, right. I had to wait for like... 30 seconds and had had to repair reset twice to get a star to spawn uh, on Route 21. I'm glad that I even bought a second repel in Vermillion because if I hadn't, then uh, oh well, <laughs> that would have been GT right there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and I also, I specifically wanted to go for the magma. I was I was considering just catching a tentacle and like not evolving it when I saw my catch count. But I wanted to go for the Magmar for the content, and then it turned out to be super sized and give me like 10 unnecessary oh. levels. Ah. Yeah. It, it was content, just not the content you're expecting. Sorry, what did you say, Aaron? 
Did it help with the like star you levels? No, it wasn't nope. the party. Otherwise, I could have oh, skipped the candy yeah, party. That's, that's rough. Uh, yeah, it was just an awkward position to be in. Yeah, it was like what you got like a level thirty one machoke and. Yeah. Oh well. And uh, I I want to ask you, Sandy. You went up to route one for a, a PG. Yeah. That was uh interesting to see or nothing spawned on the on the grass below uh Palatan. yeah i so my thought there was i was gonna grab a pidgey if it spawned near the star and it didn't spawn near the star and then i was like okay well now i'm on a star chain and that grass patch is full so i need to go grab a pidgey reset the water spawn catch chain so i can get a tentacle and i'm not like locked out of tentacle mm -hmm. and then i can catch tentacle instead of pidgeotto and it worked out. And then just catch Griber and Magmar, which showed up, thankfully, on Lured. It was a thing Amber pointed out in one of my races at some point that, like, I could go back and get Route 1 Pidgey. So I figured it was best to just, like, go do that since I got the star. Yeah, that is an interesting, uh, like, thinking on your feet. It's not something you really have to, like, expect everyone, but if, it, if, if the situation is there... Yeah, I didn't want to catch a Mansion, Chansey, or um, Tangler or anything, so I just had to do that. But it was good. It worked out. Yeah, no Pidgeotto or Fenonet spawn there. Can Venonat spawn there? I don't think so. No. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's only 24, 25, whatever route that is, and uh, west of yeah. uh, Fuchsia. Okay. Uh, my Tentacruel has best special attack. <laughs> okay. <Nice>. So <laughs> Sandy, Tentacruel the, ultimate the, win. Uh, the 2C on Sabrina with uh, Tentacruel. Or Tentacruel. Yeah, I saw it. I was streaming. I was like, hey, uh, go check out my run. And I was going to do Tentacruel, and then it backfired tremendously. And then I was going to get cute with Ice Shard, and it didn't work. Yeah. It was like a very interesting start, but then... Yeah. Not like uh, what you want to... Tenta needs to be full HP there, and I forgot about that. Then I clicked Surf, because I didn't know it was slot 1 on Tentacruel. And so I had to heal the star instead of healing the Tentacruel, and it was just time loss. But I saved like 30 seconds at E4, and I don't know how. So, it's all good. So, any uh, last words from our runners before we... Uh... Yeah, um, great race, both of you. That was a lot of fun. Uh, congrats, Triv, for the win. I'll be uh, cheering for you. Can I be biased? I don't know. <laughs> uh, to win the thing. And... Uh, Sandy's bad luck. That's that was really unfortunate, but uh, yeah, it happens. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, uh, I, thanks, commentators as well, and tech, of course. Definitely. I I do want to add. I just checked. I did just check my Pikachu's IVs, and they're all perfect. So I did get lucky there. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I also nice. saw you hit a lot of crits. Uh... Yeah, every attack in the first ten minutes of the game was a crit or paralyzed, and it was really annoying because none of them mattered. Oh no. <laughs> it was just like everything was a crit or, or yeah, then, like, like most things on bridge, like you use your first move <laughs> and it just crits. It was crazy. And none of them saved time. They all lost time. That's the frustrating part. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right, well we have on yeah, only one... TV. Uh, <laughs> we got one final race left in uh the semifinals. This is actually winners finals, I believe. Yeah, this is uh, winners, fi winners finals. Uh, whoever wins this race between Thomas Patrick, Etchi, and Headstrong will be going to the grand finals and not have to play in the or not have to play anything in the next round. Uh, yeah, but the whoever for the two losers will then join the other four winners of our previous races into the essentially the final losers bracket ra race. At least, wait, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, but both yeah, the losers of these three, to this last race, the, the two losers are having one more chance. They get into pot one of the the next, uh, the lower final. Lower finals are being dumb. 
and then and then and then it's like two more lower finals and the winner of each race goes on to the grand, grand finals as well. Yep. Yes. Our races are Kingdom Hearts 3 speedrun extraordinaire Etchy. Uh I'm not sure how much let's go he's been doing anything any also how much let's go practice he's been doing, but uh you know, hopefully his Kingdom Hearts 3 practice is gonna go. Does he uh, let's go? <laughs> I've only seen him do in Kingdom Hearts I recently. Thought, I thought he was a TCG streamer. Yeah, I think, no, I think he just G-Pad. a TCG. G-Pad's right? a TCG streamer yeah. who apparently is now playing Let's Go. I didn't know. I didn't know these people played Let's Go. Emmy Award uh, nominated uh, weatherman Thomas Patrick. Yep. And Headstrong, who does play this game and got a PB recently. Yes, after four years. Didn't get a PB fine, got one of them, got another one afterwards. And has figured out some like 302, but I might be wrong. She just figured out some new like speed tech too. So she might deploy that and save some good time on the race. I'm very excited about that. Regardless, this is going to be a very exciting race between our th- our th- between these three. And it's something that you should definitely watch. Although, if you do live in Europe, it might be a bit late to watch, but it's still something you should try and watch. Y- yeah, I'll, I, I'm not going to watch that live. I'll watch it back the next day. I'll actually be in Sweden when this goes live, so I'm not sure if I will actually be watching this. Yeah, it's going to be a very good race. Yeah, it's like at 2.30am 2, 2 when it starts. So, not, not ideal for European... Uh... Watchers, I think it's twelve thirty. But oh yeah, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, you need yeah, to make sure you get to the finals so that we so that the Europeans can actually watch a race at a decent time. <laughs> or uh, the others could just uh, keep us in mind when they schedule. I don't know. They're not going to do that. <laughs> well, I think that's it for this uh, race. Thank you all for watching, and uh, see you next time. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Archer still sucks.